Okay. Hello, 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 and welcome. Hope you all are doing well. Apologies for the delay. I was just making sure everything was ready. I'm going to go ahead and start by introducing myself. I see we've got several people in here and I'm excited. I hope you all are excited as well. But for anybody new here, hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to my struggle cooking class. Um, I am a boy mom times two. I have two teenage boys. I've been on a health and wellness journey. Have always struggled with weight, but now at in my 40s, I'm 46, I found what works for me. Uh, working with a metabolic specialist, I've been tested for food sensitivities. That test was a cheek swab on the inside and then some hair samples. So I have a list of foods that I can have and a list of foods that I have to avoid. So what we do usually on my cooking show, I am not a proper chef and I am not a doctor, but I like to share you know, what's worked for me. I am maintaining uh, an 80 plus pound weight loss before vacation. Um, and I used to be pre-diabetic, I used to have elevated cholesterol, and I used to have borderline blood pressure, and all of that is normal now with no medication and really happy about that. I've completely changed the way that I eat and I snack. Um, but all of the recipes that you find here uh, are recipes that you can make with the full flavor ingredients. We're actually going to do a full flavor recipe tonight. Uh, it's food that uh, you could cook for yourself, that I would cook for you, that I would cook for the family, and I hope you all enjoy. I am thrilled to introduce a dear friend and a very special guest. You all know her and love her, and I'm usually your teacher, but today I am going to be the student. I am a proud student of the Lead Attorneys course, but today I am going to be a cooking student. I am going to introduce you all to A.V. to the 7th Power. Hi, guys. What's going on? I'm here. I'm, I'm in Maggie's kitchen. The kitchen is big. Oh, my goodness. Wowzers. Welcome. 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 Welcome.
did. You did. So I'm going to keep that up there. Uh, is lead attorney here? <laughs> Hello. All right, you guys, I'm going to take attendance really quick. We're going to say hi to everyone, but I'm going to try and focus. And we're going to have AV kind of talk to us a yeah. little bit while we're cooking this because I have no idea what we're making. <laughs> I'm excited and a little bit nervous. It's going to be fine. It's, it's going to be, be fine. fine. Okay. So why don't we do this? Because this dish is kind of like a casserole in the sense that we're going to assemble some ingredients and then we have to bake it and mm -hmm. then it'll be ready. So we've got some like, you know, portions during the meal prep where we'll be able to kind of slow down. So please feel free to ask your questions. I may not, we may not get to them yet, but we will come back to it. But we see you guys all here. Okay. Yeah. So A.B., my scholars know that I am an immigrant. I was born in Ghana in West Africa. And you also have an interesting origin. Yeah. Yeah. If you would share a little bit about where you're from. Okay, so my family is from Cape Verde, also known as Cabo Verde, right? Uh, and there are these 10 islands on the west coast of Africa, right? Mm -hmm. There's actually a lot of Portuguese islands or groupings of islands. There's the Canary Islands, there's Madeiros. Mm -hmm. um, so we are probably the southernmost islands. Uh, so I like to call us African. So we're half, <laughs> half African and, you know, pretty much Portuguese, right? African. Um, lead it. is here, but sometimes she just calls me white because of the way that I look, right? So okay, <laughs> y'all, she's definitely not white. She's African, okay? Right, he likes to say that I just, I look transparent. I look white, <laughs> oh, so it's no. fine. We do the ancestry DNA, and even though I'm 40% Portuguese, the other half is like from Senegal and, mm -hmm. and you know, West Africa. That apparently does not count. And that's okay. <laughs> well, like I always say, you are all welcome yeah. here. Whatever brings you here, one thing we all have in common is we all eat and yeah. we all enjoy good food. So whether you just love to eat, you are welcome here. Whether you love to cook, you are welcome here. Yep. Whether you just want to watch us do it, you are welcome here. I will just say we are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly yeah. side of YouTube. Okay. So... AV, mm -hmm. I have been asking, I'm so glad you came to do this, y'all. Yeah. So I am very curious about what we're making today. I'm going to show you guys. It is uh, something called, can you pronounce what we're making? Bacalao. Okay. <laughs> so we are making something called bacalao. I've never had it before and I've never made it before. So yeah. can you tell us yeah. a little bit about this? This recipe came from Food Network. And if you want the entire recipe, it's on my, uh, for uh, my members in the chat. That's awesome. So the fact that the members get this recipe, you can kind of follow along. And if you don't do it with us right now, you can do it later. Mm -hmm. Do it tonight. Do it tomorrow. Like cook it, cook it as soon as you can, right? Mm -hmm. So what bacalao is, and it's not just exclusive to Cabo Verde, I would say that a lot of Latin cultures have some version of this, mm. right? Um, and what it is, is kind of like a casserole. You, you, Some people cook it differently. We're not going to be using chickpeas today, okay. uh, but typically that's included in it. So uh. it is also typically a codfish casserole, mm -hmm. okay? Um, we're going to be subbing that out, right, Maggie? Yes, we, we are. are. So we're going to kill, two, I don't want to say kill two birds, but we're going to take care of two things. So one of the things that when I chatted with A.V., if you remember, you said you wanted to learn how to make some fish dishes better. Yeah, okay, seafood dishes. some seafood dishes. So yeah. I have some fresh salmon here mm -hmm. and we're actually going to cook this salmon. So we'll be doing two recipes for you guys. I have a really simple air fryer salmon recipe that we're cool. going to cook first because in this casserole, we need to cook the fish and then we need to flake the fish into the casserole. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are gonna get started with that. But before we get started, I have a little gift for you. Oh my gosh, you're getting a present. I'm so yeah. excited. <laughs> okay, so let me get something for oh, you. Oh, it's the anticipation. You... <laughs> the anticipation. There's trolls in here. I have my custom <laughs> trolls already. The custom trolls are here. Yes. Now, my moderators are here to make sure they are my classroom monitors to yeah. make sure that everybody behaves in class. But I have a little something for okay. you. You're going to need it. Oh, uh-oh. If you uh -oh. don't want it. <laughs> what is it? This is a nice bag. Is this oh, rose gold? Oh, you can gold? have it. Oh, my goodness. This is a really nice bag. Mm -hmm. What's in here? What's in here? The anticipation. And there's a card. Yes, there's a little it card. It says <laughs> What does the card say? The card says, uh, A.V., I'm so incredibly proud of you. The best is yet to come. Love, Maggie. <laughs> That's so nice. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> this is the initiation. It's look at this. Oh my gosh! What does it say, Counselor Amy? I love this. Oh my gosh! I'm so happy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This so, is so cool. I'm you all know that mind. you need an apron in the kitchen, and I have my apron. <laughs> Oh, yes, about that Maggie merch. Oh, oh thank so you cool. so much. Mr. Option One is here to support. So we're going to get our aprons off. Counselor <laughs> AB, I'm so excited right now. Okay, so you all know that I am, let's see, where did these come from? These come from the Zazzle store. So I'm going to pull that up so you guys can see. I do have, there it is. I do have Maggie merch. <laughs> oh, someone said check the 23 and me. Really? <laughs> You know, you know who that is. Yes, we do. Oh my goodness. Okay. So yes, I do have Maggie merch and I want to model for you all. AV is wearing the standard size. I was going to yes. say, is this a size small? No, that's a standard and I have the long. So okay. it's basically like... Oh, it's got pockets. It's got pockets. It's got four pockets. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys you got oh thank you you guys for putting up the links up there but yes yeah, so we have maggie merch this yeah. is the long if you don't mind yeah, yeah. i know you're a little bit yeah. short but you guys hopefully can see well Amy's a little bit shorter than me so i'm wearing the long and it pretty much comes down to my knees yeah. but we have it's adult size aprons we have i was gonna say is this a child it's size? Not, <laughs> <laughs> no it's not the child <laughs> size but it's adjustable yeah, at yeah. the neck yep. and it's got ties in the back and you guys can customize it. Oh, Anitra got her apron too. Nice. You guys can customize these. Let me take this down so you guys can see. All right, perfect. But yeah, you guys asked for Maggie merch. So I wanted to show now. You all know that Amy is a law school student, but every school has a counselor. So for Maggie's class, we got counselor Amy. So, so yes, Kalise, I see your question. Um, the aprons come in multiple colors. You guys take a look. And if there's something that you see that is not there, let me know and I'll update it. All right. So we've got our uniforms on. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. So we are going to do a quick air fryer salmon. And um, if you can, I'm going to look up the recipe because I should have been prepared. And y'all know this is not a real cooking show. Oh, they love the aprons. Okay. They come in tan, white, yellow, and lots of colors. And so lots of colors. Yeah, <laughs> lots of other colors. If you, um, A.B., can let them know about maybe, like, the history of this dish or why it's all okay. hot or anything. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm, and I'm going to kind of teach you guys a little bit about Cape Verde as we go. Yes, please. Maggie's going to be walking around. Yes. I'm going to be chopping things up. We're going to work. Okay, so uh, the thing is, is Cape Verde is an island nation, and the interesting thing is, you know, there's a lot of seafood involved, right? The original fish that is in this is cod. I think I said that. What you have to do with cod is let it salt overnight, because mm. that's how salty it is, right? Uh, so you do need to let it salt overnight, and that's how you get that nice flake, right? Mm. Because we're going with salmon, it didn't need to salt overnight. So for those of you that have this recipe, it does say, hey soak the cod in cold water for 24 to 36 hours. We're not doing that, okay? Uh, so if you want to do this sub recipe, grab yourself some salmon and we'll kind of go from there. So I think the first thing that you're going to need, let's talk about the ingredients, right? Because mm -hmm. you need your food. Uh, what you'll need is uh, a cup and a, I'm sorry, a pound and a half of salted cod. It looks like we have a pound and a half of salmon. Mm -hmm. You're also going to need a half a cup plus a teaspoon of olive oil. Two cups of thinly sliced yellow onions, a tablespoon of chopped garlic, salt, of course, pepper. We all need that. Two pounds of waxy potatoes. I don't know why they need to be waxy. I don't know about that either, yeah. Waxy? Mm -hmm. Waxy potatoes. Let's just go with regular potatoes, okay? Let's yeah. forget that that was there. Um, you're also going to need four hard-boiled eggs. We got that, yeah. Yep, we're going to do that. And then eight black olives. I don't know why there's just eight. I usually just slice up a bunch of olives and throw them in there. And then lastly, one tablespoon of finely chopped fresh parsley. You know what's so funny? What's that? Maggie just came over with mustard. Yeah, I don't no. know what we're doing with this okay, yet. Okay, so let me, let me show you okay. guys what we're doing. Sorry, if you guys... <laughs> when I've been here, I'm kind of all over the place, so apologies. So we are doing two recipes. So I'm oh, going to show okay. you guys what we're doing. 
I wanted to get a oh, really simple God, salmon true. recipe right for AB. Okay, so let me see if I can pull this up so y'all can see. That looks so good. I'm going to show you guys what we're doing. So one of the things that I love to do is recreate uh, social media recipes, and I found an easy one. All right. I love the music in the background. <laughs> These reels, it's hard for me. getting the mustard so yeah. all right so av we are going to use salmon so you guys yeah. heard av say traditionally for this recipe um it's salted cod and you're supposed to soak it like for a day and a half yeah. we're not doing that no. so we're gonna we're gonna take care of two things we're gonna show you guys a really easy salmon recipe and then we're gonna use this salmon in the um the bacalao 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 okay <laughs> does that translate to something like does it mean something I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Condemnia. We appreciate you so much. Okay, so I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, I should probably do the same thing. Right. Y'all don't want you don't want cups with, with dirty hands. Exactly, because yeah. you know we want to make sure that we keep it clean. Absolutely. So antibacterial. Right. Absolutely. All right. I'll get in there. Okay. So we're starting with clean hands, and I'm going to get a cutting board. So Andrea says the Dijon is good. I have tried it with the Dijon. I'll let you choose, A.B. Okay. I didn't like the Dijon. I like regular, but we'll see what, what A.B. wants to do. Okay, sounds good. All right, let me get this uh, cutting board out. If you can open up the salmon. All right, you got it. We're going to need a knife. Okay. okay. Yep. <clears throat> I don't know where the things are in her kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, my Thank dear. You. You're welcome. And then we've got a few pieces in this. Yes. But these are the weight, so oh my pretty gosh. good portions. Oh, oh yeah, and there's no this. skin on the back. I yes, I did that. get skinless, but this recipe will work with both. So what we want to do is we want to just take them out. Mm -hmm. And the first step in this recipe, and this is just an Instagram recipe, you want to blot them. So we're going to blot them. And I'm going to show you guys how I blot. I didn't get my overhead thing together, so I'm just going to lift up to show you guys. So you can see here the salmon when you take it out. See how it's kind of shiny there? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some paper towels, and I actually like kind of put some, put your back into it. Pressure on there? Yes. All right. So literally, I'm just taking some half sheets of paper towels. I'll do one, and then you can do the other. Okay. So I just cover it like that, yep. put paper towel on the top and the bottom. It's almost like you're wrapping it in a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm actually, you guys can see here, I'm going to kind of really lead in and press into it. And then what I do, and I help yourself, I got another roll. What I do, when I take it off, if I see like <laughs> still liquid on here, it's not dry enough. So let me show you guys. So you see one has been blotted and the other one is still a little bit shiny. Look at all that salmon juice. Salmon juice. So we'll let you go ahead and blot that. Go ahead. Okay. I'll refill the paper towels because this is not a proper cooking show where everything is ready. It is just us in the kitchen. <laughs> Getting it done. Getting it done. So I'm making my little burrito here. Getting the salmon juice out of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Awesome. So now, perfect. So that looks good. And then what I would do is I'm just going to turn the fillet over. Okay. Sorry, guys. Got to refill the paper towels. Yeah. So we have two salmon fillets, and you can see that they're drier than they were before. And what I do is I actually turn them over. Okay. Yeah. Now the reason why, I'm going to turn them over so you guys can see. See how I turn them over, but we still have, you know, that liquid in there. I want to make sure it's dry on both sides. Why do you want to make sure that it's dry on both sides? Two things. Your seasonings will stick on 
if it can um, adhere to the flesh or the, the fish meat, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> if it's um, dry, if it's kind of like with pasta, like I didn't know you're not supposed to oil it because then the yeah. sauce kind of slips off right, of it, right. but that way it'll stay on there. So we've got our two pieces of um, dried fresh fish. This will work with frozen fish that you've thawed out. You just mm. have to make sure that you really blot it well because, you know, frozen fish, when it thaws out, you'll have a lot more liquid in it. Gotcha. All right. So now let's go ahead and get these on the cutting board. I'm going to let you choose, A.B. So that recipe said to use Dijon mustard, yep. and then we're going to put our seasonings on there. Okay. Do you like Dijon? Yeah, let's spice it up. Let's okay. spice it up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Are you not Wait, you know, let's do, let's do, let's do one uh, Dijon and okay, one regular. Fair, How about that? fair. That's a good balance. Okay. I was going to say, we don't want to spice it up. Maggie, now, here's the much. thing. <laughs> so the recipe actually calls for Dijon mustard. This is just regular Kroger Dijon mustard. Okay. I have made this fish before. It's very good. Okay. But Dijon, I don't know. Is it like spicy? It's got like a little bit of a bite. There's something in there. There's something in there. Yeah. If you like that, go with the Dijon. So yeah. we're going to do one with Dijon, and then the other one is going to be regular dollar store <laughs> mustard. Okay. Just dollar well, store you know, mustard? Okay, just regular. It's not it. even French. I don't know where it came from. It's just regular mustard. Yes, we love AB. Y'all, I'm coming to I the... I you guys, too. Yes. Once we get our food cooking, we're going to scroll back through and see everything. Yeah. So forgive me, um, or just hold it and, and paste it, but... Yeah, I'll get distracted. Okay, so which filet would you like? You get to choose. Um, you want the big one? Sure. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to do this. And then you're going to squeeze your Dijon on there. Yep. And I will get a couple pastry brushes. Okay. Do you guys remember, do you, you know when sometimes you have like mustard in your refrigerator? I always like do this because oh, there's yeah, that the water juice that's like oh, that's the worst. There's that mustard juice in there that drives me insane. Ketchup is the same way, like when you go out there. Okay, perfect. Okay. So I've got two brushes. I got a pink one and I have a brown one. Which one would you like? I'm gonna go with the pink of one. course. All right. So let me do my mustard. I'm gonna show. I have to hold it up for them. Okay, that's fine. Step. That's fine. Right. I made a little squiggly shape. So we've got one with Dijon mustard. So I do the tap, and we're gonna do one with our dollar store regular mustard. That's what I call it. The dollar store mustard. Hey, I say start somewhere. There you go. Yeah. See, I got that juice. All right. So. Yellow mustard for me, Dijon mustard for AV. So let's go ahead and brush that on and okay. really get it coated well. Okay. And I think we'll even turn it over and I'm gonna do around the side. Okay. This is cool. I need to get one of these. A pastry brush? Yeah. yeah this is, that's what it's called, a pastry brush? I don't know if it's specifically a pastry brush, but this is like silicone, so it's not like fibers, but this is good for anything that's saucy. Barbecue chicken. Yeah, this is perfect for the grill. Exactly. Exactly. And it will, will stand the heat. All right. So beautiful, artistic job. So all we've done so far, you guys can see, is that we squirted that uh, mustard on there, and then we've got... Um, our mustard brushed on. So I'm gonna get some tongs and we'll just turn it over. Cool. And we're gonna do the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead and hold on to that. Yep. So we'll just turn over that one and turn over that one. And we're going to repeat on the other side. Got the little squiggly line mm -hmm. going. So the mustard, what does it do? I don't know, but it gives it flavor and it gives us a little stickiness for our seasonings to stay on there. So I'll show you guys what we're doing. We're actually painting that whole salmon. This could work probably for any fish. Try it. Let me turn that down. Yeah, I think that's my, I always forget to put my phone on. Somebody's calling Do Maggie. not disturb. <laughs> Again, this is not a proper cooking show. <laughs> I never said that it was. Okay. So, yes. Beautiful. So, we have our fish fillets here. And this is something that the kids could help with. So, we've got it covered. All right. So, in here, it says to add... Oh, my God. That looks it's so, so good. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to flake really good. Um, so, we've got our salmon. We blotted it. Yep. We yep. did our mustard. Yep. 
Well, they use a spoon. spoon. They use a spoon. I know. Why be regular when you can be extra? Garlic powder, paprika, salt, and pepper. Okay. okay. So here is paprika. Okay. I'll let you go ahead and season yours. Uh, or you can season all. Let me find the garlic powder. Okay. Can't be heavy handed here. Um, go ahead. Okay. Well, well, you know what? You're doing that. So we've got these with the paprika. I'm going to go in. This is just regular dollar store paprika. <laughs> I don't know. Dollar store paprika. <laughs> Look, I always say, wow. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. So just for seasoning, especially on this, I'm just kind of going from left to right. Now, we'll do both of them. You yeah. can season as much or as little as you want to. I kind of season so that, that it's coated. You, really coated because yeah. when you lift it up, anything extra will fall off. Yeah. We're going to turn them over. Well, actually, let's season everything. Yeah, yeah, Garlic yeah. powder is next. And then salt and pepper. You want me to do yours? Yeah, go ahead, please. We're going to, I'm going to let you do all the seasonings because I'm going to okay. show them. And then salt and pepper. I've got the Himalayan. Are you okay with Himalayan pink salt? Yeah, of Okay. Himalayan pink salt. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I have. You could use whatever salt. Um, if one of our moderators could find some Himalayan pink salt, and put this on my Maggie cheat sheet, I think it is. Oh, you have a cheat sheet, Maggie? Yes. So if you got, got all the things. <laughs> right, exactly. We have class notes and we have a cheat sheet. That's Excellent perfect. job. Yeah. All right, so we've got it really seasoned here, and then we're gonna turn them over and do the same on the back side. Right. So let me just get the tongs and turn them over. So in the description of the video, we have um, a Maggie cheat sheet which is basically a lot of products that I use and I hold up and show to you guys so you can have the same. If you would go ahead and season yep. the other side, please. Yeah, you got it. And yep, go. and there you go. All right, so while AV is seasoning the fish, I'm going to show you guys, because I didn't know, how to refill your black pepper grinder. So I have a set, salt and pepper grinders, uh, well, salt, shaker, and pepper grinder. And this is empty. That's why we're using the other one. So what you do is you take off this little, what is it called? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But yeah, when you buy them and they're already filled, you're like, how am I supposed to get more in there? So when you take that part off, then you have this thing right here. So you can take that off. And you can see here, there's a little space for the peppercorn to go. All right, we're working over here. <laughs> So I, I bought love pepper. <laughs> you like pepper? Pepper is yes. good. Yes. So we have this black pepper corns. I'm going to show you guys how to fill them. But let's go ahead and get this in the um, oven. So what? Okay. Yeah, this oh, it's an air fryer. It looks really good, seasoned well. Okay. So then all we need to do, I'm just checking, because I never remember. I have to watch it over and over again. We dabbed it with a paper towel. We got our mustard on, one Dijon, one regular. We got our seasonings on there and yeah. air fry at 400 for 15 minutes. Don't All right, so let me get my foil and I'm going to tell them about. <clears throat> this looks so good, guys. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so this is an easy fish dish. So I'm going to get the air fryer ready while I'm talking to you guys about this. Just regular aluminum foil. This should be in the cheat sheet. This is an air fryer recipe, but honestly, you could do, you know, in the oven toaster oven. My air fryer has these little trays, so I'm just covering it with foil so nothing drips through. If you want to crisp up something, leave the um, leave it exposed. But if you want to keep the juices and stuff, I line it with foil. All right. So we just have a tray with foil here, and we're going to put our fish fillets on it. I'm just grabbing with the tong. So we have one beautiful fillet. And then getting in the other one. Okay. All right. So now these are going to go in 415 minutes. All right. You want me to wash these while you do Oh, that? no. I don't wash anything. Just put it in the sink. We're going to put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> but that's so nice. Do you wash dishes by hand or did you grow up washing dishes by well, hand? Well, I do have a dishwasher. <laughs> but if I, need, if I need the cutting board again, I usually wash it off. Yeah. So that way when it's time to use it, it's ready, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so one thing about that with kitchen sink, you know, that's great. Let me make sure this turns on. Okay, 400 for 15 minutes. So what we're going to do while this is cooking, because um, I, I think we do need to cook our potatoes too. I'm yes. trying to think ahead with everything that we need to do. Yes. And we'll come back to the pepper because I want to make sure that we maximize our time and get everything moving. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come to a point and answer you all's questions. But I'm just going to clean off a little bit because we are going to need the, uh, the counter space. Right. See, John? Yes, that's going to go back in the fridge. Thank you so much. Yes, anywhere is fine. All right, perfect. Okay. So what... Can you walk me through this after the yep. soaking of the fish that we're not okay. doing? So we did step one okay. with uh, the salmon, right? Yep. So step two is now we're going to flake the cod into small pieces, removing any bones. Yep. Set aside in a large saute pan. Okay. And over medium heat, I think we're going to skip this too. Um, when the oil is hot, add the onions and the garlic. Season with salt and pepper. Saute until lightly golden. So maybe we're just... But do we need to cook these potatoes though? I thought we had to boil the potatoes somewhere. I do. Spread half of the potatoes in the bottom. Do you do... So here's what I do. When yeah, I tell make, us what you do. When I make bacalao, I actually start with the first step of ignoring everything that they're doing. And I boil everything first. Okay. Meaning that I would um, heat up some water yeah. for probably a few minutes until it comes to a boil mm -hmm. with salt and pepper. Then I would put in the peeled potatoes. Oh, we got to peel them? We don't have to peel well, them. Well, no, let's peel them. I can do that. <laughs> so you could do that with a, that's going to take some time though, with the eggs. So they're boiling at the same time. Okay. I you got, have hard uh, yeah. So These are the know. eggs that I bought. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Amber Attorney. Amber <laughs> <laughs> oh Attorney. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can't decide whether I'm more shocked at the absence of chickpeas in the recipe. Look, I don't know, you guys. I never said that I, this is my oh. first time making or having Cape Bird food, okay? Or that AV is physically oh, it present say here. in your kitchen. <laughs> Two pounds of waxy potatoes sliced one quarter thick and cooked until tender. Yes. So let's get started on the potatoes. Let's while. do that. Okay, so let me get my cooktop. But yeah, tell them how you make it out. Yeah, no, so at home, I usually start with that, just so you save yourself some time. Um, and then when it's time to cook everything, then you take the potatoes out, you take the chickpeas out, you put everything in the casserole, and then you're, you're ready to go, right? How, many, how much potato do we need? It's really us too, so yeah. I, I wouldn't go too crazy. Okay. Um, I would say if you're cooking for a family of four, Probably about five or six. Okay. Um, but what do you what do you think? No, I'm fine. Minutes? I'm fine with you know, whatever. Yep. Um, so let me show you guys what I have. <laughs> let me show you guys what I have. Uh, this should be in the cheat sheet. Completely optional, but I bought this little cooktop on Amazon. I do have a working stove, but this is what allows us to cook here, so you guys can actually see. So I'm gonna plug this up, okay. and um, I can peel. Yeah, I can peel the potatoes. Okay. I'll fill the water. Yes. All right. There we go. So while you do that, that's going to be that. I do this thing whenever I tie up. Like, you know how you have this little, like, tab? This is how I, like, read. What do you <laughs> I do? I twist it up again so that way I can get to the bottom. I never use that again. I just I, tie it yeah. in a knot. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of keeps it, you know, okay. intact. I'll get you some water. Okay. Perfect. So I'll switch with you. And then while I'm peeling potatoes, maybe we can go through some of the uh, the questions or comments that have been coming through because y'all, <laughs> I got some potatoes to peel. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, because you got some people in the chat. I you know, we got a lot of people. people in the chat. Wow. Oh my gosh, I know. Thank you all so much for being here. Make sure you support AB's channel. AV is like within 50 people away, uh, 50 subscribers away uh, per 1,000. Yes, plug that up. So please, please, please support. Let's see, and you can support her with uh, Cash App or Venmo. All right. So while I'm peeling, oh, this doesn't take long at all. Yeah, yeah, it'll probably take you like less than a few. Yeah. Two seconds doing that. Absolutely. But I do love Amber Attorney's comment here. <laughs> so if you want, you can scroll yep. back and I you can, uh, I know it's a lot. Let's go all the way to the back. <laughs> all the way to the 
with that. Um, I'm peeling potatoes, y'all. Custard Explosion says, oh my, she said, what did she say? Or he or she? Custard Explosion is one of my custom trolls. Subscribe. I was making um, creme brulee. <laughs> Living out loud. And it exploded. Hello, everyone. Yeah, you can just shout out who's in the chat. And veggie, we'll... veggie. Hey, veggie. Here. The Struggle Lemon Cake. <laughs> yes, that was uh, another fail of mine. One down. Let's get it up. Look at the braid swirl. The ah! drawline, the porcelain skin. <laughs> yes, Amy's got her braid swirl going. Leader turn. Look at this one right here. Oh, did you see that one? That one went by fast. Oh, gosh. All right. One down. What else do we have? This is going by so fast. I know, y'all. We're going to try. Oh! Who's that one? The leader turn. Jeremy's is a colorist. colorist. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no, no, no. We love everybody burnt here. Christmas oh, bacon. Yes, I burnt some bacon, so now. Oh my gosh. Does AV like her men crispy? I don't know, but do you like your bacon crispy? How do you like your bacon? Um, do you eat bacon? Just not wiggly, right? <laughs> just not, not like wiggly? Wiggly? Yeah, so you like it to be kind of like. Um, oh, Luke Casely is here. Hey, Luke Casely. She, she absolutely loves this collab. Oh, me too. I'm so happy. And there is, okay, two down, two more to go. <clears throat> Mr. Option One left his super chat. Mr. Oh. Option One, thank you. <laughs> Kim G is here too. Mm -hmm. She says Maggie is too sweet and she has. The trophy emoji. Thank you. Let's get the super chat started. Oh, thank you all for supporting. Sherry's here. Sherry says, protect the dress. <laughs> protect. Oh, yes, with the apron. Yeah. That's the Do you wear an apron in the kitchen, A.V.? I don't, but I will now. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely will now. Yeah, I mean, not only just like a fashion statement, but it really is like my uniform in the kitchen. Because if you're wearing proper clothes, you know, you don't want to mess them up. All right, three down, one yeah. more. And then I'm going to let you um, slice the potatoes to yeah, the absolutely. thickness that you... Absolutely. Friendsgiving is here, too. Hey, Chant Friendsgiving! Yeah, Chantel is here. Hey, Chantel! Mr. Top Notch says, this is funny, uh -oh. these beautiful women are full of excitement, having fun in the kitchen. Outstanding. Hold on. We need to raise the roof. Raise the roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my uh, gosh. Shenanigans. <laughs> uh, Mona says Maggie will be answering questions shortly. Yes, so y'all. Sure. I'm trying to get this food going so I don't have another custom troll because I burnt something or forgot something or whatever. Y'all know how Andrea you knows. She goes, AV is coming through with the braid swirl. AV is rocking the braid swirl. Yeah. Okay. So we have four potatoes. I'm going to get you a cutting board and a knife. Okay. Sounds good. And then I'll talk a little bit about. So I'm getting a new cutting board and we'll talk a little bit about kitchen safety. I don't know who can cook, but I'm just teaching y'all how. Yeah. Nana taught me. There we go. Mama Bear <laughs> Moments is here. Well, I think Luke Hazley helped out because we were. You asked me what um, what Buckalow meant. I was like, I don't know. Luke we don't know. What Luke is Luke here to save the day. Oh, what did she say? She says it means the same thing in Spanish. Buckalow is cod. Oh, it's cod. Yeah. Okay, the salt yeah. fish. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I didn't know that. Thank you, Luke Hazley. And then is it Cal Calise? Yes, Calise. Yeah, she's here. She's here too. Should I go ahead and turn this on? To oh, <laughs> wow, Luke Hazley. She says, oh, where was it? I know. That was so funny. Aw, thank you so much, Lou Kaisley. Yeah, it says, my grandma used to give us a spoonful of buckle out oil every day when we were little for our help. And then she has a throwing up emotion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, in its raw form. Uncle Stu. Uncle Stu. Hey, Uncle, Uncle Stu. Stu is here. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. No, I don't. Cod liver oil, yeah. yeah. So the authentic recipe, do you know why they use cod? Is that common in, like, Latin? Okay. It's yeah. Just a... yeah, it definitely is. Mona's here. Hey, Mona. We'll come back to... Um... All right, let's go down to the bottom so we can... We'll be back, guys. Yes, we more... will be Nuggles back. Nuggles is in the building. Nuggles is here, as always. Just washing my hands. All right, so let's talk a little bit about kitchen safety. So these are your four potatoes. If you want to yep. go ahead and slice those up. Yep. 
Okay, so while AV is cutting up the potatoes, and I'm gonna let her do it her way, um, I know AV said, and that's great, it makes sense to wash. Um... Oh, wow. Sorry. No. <laughs> She's chopping away, y'all. Yeah. Um, if you don't, if you don't want to waste, it does make sense to wash your cutting board, but just whenever you guys are dealing with raw meat, whether it's raw fish, mm -hmm. raw chicken, or anything, either wash it very well, turn it over to the other side, or get another cutting board. You can also use, they're not as sturdy, but these little cutting mats, you can get these in like a four pack. So if you need to cook like veggies, um, meat or whatever, you can have different uh, cutting mats available for you. Okay. So, A.V. is going to town on this uh, potato. Two out of four done. Two out of four done. So, yeah, I'm going to show them what you have so far. Yep. So, she is dicing them up. And she's the expert, y'all. I don't know <laughs> what this is. <laughs> All right. So, our fish is doing its thing. How long, do you, how long do you have that in the air fryer, Maggie? So, it's 15 minutes, 400 degrees. So, we're going to take it out and hopefully it flakes really nicely. So I'm going to, was this supposed to be boiling? Yeah. Okay. I'll just turn it all the way up. Okay. So we just got a pot of water here. Um, and then let's see, let me look ahead and see what we're going to need. Yeah. I think the next thing is we're going to have to chop up the garlic and the onions. Oh, okay. That's got I a saute. Can... Yeah. Okay. You feel like chopping or? Yeah. Listen. <laughs> I'm her sous chef today. You're the sous chef? I'm the sous chef today. It's so much nicer having AV in here than the boys. Because when they're oh here. Oh my God. Well, they never help. They only well, come. They don't. They just, they're just like, is the food done? Exactly. Food done? Exactly. Food done? Nobody food done. Y'all have seen the boys. They don't help. They just circle around when the plates are ready. So I actually have help. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay. Got help reading comments. Exactly. Chats. Exactly. All right. So. We'll get the fish out in a minute. And let's see, we've got onion. They gave me a lot of onion. I don't oh, know. wow. That's a lot of onion. Yeah. That's okay. We probably only need one. Need one? Okay. And I'll show you guys. I'm going to go back to that pepper. Um, okay. Okay. So, potato is done. Awesome. Look at this, y'all. AV diced up the potatoes. Now, this is really good because I was probably just going to slice them flat. But y'all know, I don't know. Okay, and then do we need to, you, do you have a special way you cut onion? Yeah, first I take off the skin. Okay, I'm going to let A.B. show y'all how she cuts onion. Do you want me to clear out these potatoes? And yeah, if we you, can put that on like a, a, a platter or something yeah. else, like that would be awesome. That would be really good. All right, so let me get the potatoes out of her way. And everybody does it differently. I like to peel it first. Just okay. So it's easier. Now this is, I think lead attorney said, this is a very interesting like <laughs> flavor combination, like yes. olives and potatoes and fish and <laughs> egg. Yeah. But hey, all right, so we got a bowl of potatoes. So now AB's gonna chop up some onion. We'll sit yeah. these over here, two more minutes on the fish. I'm still peeling it guys, but I like to get down to this. Yeah, one. I do too. Yeah. Okay, so while she's doing that, let me go ahead and fill up my pepper grinder. Oh, that's the salt. All right, so y'all, when I bought my salt and pepper shakers, it came full. I didn't know how to fill it. So you have to buy these things called peppercorns, and you can get them. You can see this is regular Walmart. You can get them in black. You can get them in red. You can get them in whatever you like. <laughs> whatever color you like. So I'm just peeling the top off here. No, you're fine. But they will be all right. We're not rushing for y'all. <laughs> We're trying to make this because if I mess it up, y'all know you're going to make me another custom troll. Uh -oh. All right. So you see we've got these little peppercorns. Now, why would you buy peppercorns as opposed to 
ground black pepper, okay? So this, both of these come from Walmart. You can see one is ground black pepper. Y'all know that's just the one that you shake and then peppercorns. So the peppercorns are the ones that go into the pepper grinder. I heard this on TV, I don't know, but there are, whenever you can cut into something, oh, thank you, neglected chickpea. option one okay stand back you're cracking up see I how i get my custom trolls <laughs> look like the cheese is crying oh my god okay our water is boiling Wait. i'm so mad right now yeah y'all we have company come on scholars let's look at our fish <laughs> oh my god all right so oh my god that looks amazing so we have our salmon now the wow. test is let me turn this because this doesn't take long okay our water is boiling y'all yep i'm so we're I'm going to take Oh, we're gonna put the potatoes in. All right. Yeah. Go. Show okay, them they're right there, okay. and you can take care of the potatoes. I'm gonna flake the fish for you, so you, Amy, can see, and everybody can see how this little 15 minute fish okay. recipe. All right. So I can't remember which one is which, but I'm just gonna go in at the small tail end here. Oh my goodness, that looks good. I don't know if y'all can see. Wow. Wowzers. So look at that. Look at that salmon. <laughs> look at that salmon. Look at that salmon. Taste your salmon. Oh <laughs> well, that's the one with the, um, is it good? <laughs> okay. I think that's the one with the, um. I can't leave her house. I know, right? I'm staying. Okay. This is so great. I did put a poll at the top of the chat. If you guys can see, let me know if you like these type of collabs. We can have AV back. Okay, so good. I think that was the regular mustard. Do you have some more? Yes, you can have some more. <laughs> okay, I want you please to taste the um, Dijon one and see how that's flaking. Okay. Oh, it's careful, it's hot. Are you okay? I'm okay, Bernie. Okay, oh, she's half African, so she can handle it. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's try. Yes. Mm -hmm. It looks so good. Y'all, if you can see how, like, let me see if I can show you guys how juicy and everything it is, how it's flaking really nicely. You can see inside there. So how's it taste? Great. Can you tell the difference between the regular yeah. Do you like the Dijon one better? Yeah. But okay. I think they're both good. It's just- I'm gonna taste both. Thank you, option one. <laughs> there, we there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm this going to good. taste. This has some, some swag in it, right? The regular one? The, um, the yes. Okay. Actually. It does have some swag in it, Ooh. and this just takes it up a notch, mm. right? Okay. So mine with the regular mustard, you taste the salmon, you yeah. taste that garlic powder, you taste all that, and then I'm going to taste the one with the Dijon. But really what we were going for is that texture. If y'all can see how it's just flaking off yeah. really easy, and you can wow. see how juicy it is. 15 minutes, 400 degrees. So I'm going to taste That's the incredible. one. incredible. The things you can do with an air fryer. I actually like yours better, too. Now, when you buy cod, yeah. is it raw and you have to cook it or salted cod is like salted, already preserved? It's already preserved. You would have to boil it with okay. these guys, right? Okay. I turned that down, but okay. it's it's ready. But All yeah. right, so our fish is done. So this is going to go in our casserole. You can see the steam, right? I know, right? <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to put this back in the air fryer until we're ready to put it in the casserole. Okay. Avi's going in with the potato. Potatoes are going into boiling water. And we're gonna put some salt and pepper. Okay. Oh, yeah. If I can finish this pepper thing, but we've got this pepper and this salt for you. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So when you are using pepper, usually you have the regular ground pepper that you shake. That's fine. But if you want to take it up a notch, pepper comes from these peppercorns. I think I don't know, but when you grind pepper fresh, you're actually like Av is doing. 
<laughs> then what, what's happening is you're um, cracking open. Yes, you need a spoon? Absolutely. You're cracking it open, right? So like Yes, you're cracking open the peppercorn and the oil comes from the, thank you, Kimji. Um, the oil comes from, and that fresh flavor comes from in here. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going, I'm going to pour some of the peppercorns in here and then put the top back on. Perfect. Yeah, I, I like that you broke down the difference between like pepper that's already ground versus having the peppercorns. It just tastes better too. It does. So if you ever go to a restaurant and they're like, would you like fresh cracked pepper? Thank you, Lou Casey. I am so mad that I have a neglected chickpea. <laughs> That's, that's me leaving my mark on your community. I know. So now, welcome to class, neglected chickpea. So now I have five custom trolls. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're having a good time? I'm so Yay. glad you guys are. Okay. So you can see here we have our peppercorns in here. And then literally, I just put the top back on. This top and then this little thing. I don't know what it's called. A screw. Yeah, screw yeah. this back on. And then you guys can see when we go in to grind pepper, you have the peppercorns in here, and then you have you know, the fresh pepper that gives it more flavor. This is not bad, it's okay, but if you wanna take it up a notch, you can. So that's the salt and pepper. Cool. All awesome. right, so we got our onions peeled or? Yep, so I peeled the onions, guys, and then I just took off uh, the root ends. Um, I cut them in half and then I'm just going to slice them across. Okay, I'm going to move yep. the forks out of the way. You got it. Okay. So there's that. And then next up is going to be the garlic. Oh, yeah. And then I'm probably going to dice them after this. Okay, this whatever you want to do. Smaller pieces. Some people like to keep the onion intact. Like yeah, this. like the slivers. Uh -huh. this, this drives me crazy. So I'm going to oh, cut them into small pieces. Yes. Andrea says, let's get AB to 1,000 subs. Oh, so You guys are so nice. If one of my moderators could let us know periodically what AB's subscriber count is. Is Mr. Option 1 matching every super chat? Oh, oh my gosh. He's the best. Do you keep your potatoes boiling covered, uncovered, or doesn't matter? Okay, I'm just going to put this on so... I don't start melting. Ah. Yes. So please go to AV's YouTube channel. And if someone can let me know how many subscribers she has. Thank you guys for doing that. Yeah, me. absolutely. Because we've got over 50 people in here. And I know she's less than 50 people away. She's at 980. Wow. Let's raise the roof. <laughs> With this. Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh, Wilbur says now she's at 981. All right. Uh, Y'all, if I got to dance for you, you know I will. Okay, focus, Maggie. All right, so our potatoes are going. AB is dicing up the onion. Now, should I get started on garlic? Yes, let's okay. peel those uh, garlic. Well, I bought off. this <laughs> fresh and peeled. Ah! <laughs> but I can go ahead and dice up the garlic. Yeah, that'd be How many cloves? Well, what was the recipe say? I don't even know. Yeah, let's let's. Are you? Do you food. like garlic or you like yeah, garlic? Yeah, I love garlic. Okay. Um, I think with this because we're gonna saute it, it's okay. gonna lose some of its flavor. Yeah. But that's okay. It says yeah. one tablespoon. That's not a lot. That's not. Maybe it's just. One you cold. tell me. Okay. Maybe two. Two. Maybe okay. I like, it. I like the flavor. So um, let me see if I have fresh garlic so y'all can see. Go AB. Go <laughs> AB. Is this for the um, raising the roof? Which one? No, go A B. Go A B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, raising the roof is uh it's one of those things you don't see every day. Okay. Right? But when you see it, you can't unsee it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you guys, if you see the steam here, if I start melting, it's because our potatoes are going. Ah, you're at 982. Come wow, on, y'all. Nice. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Y'all please go awesome. support A B. Okay, Thank so you. fresh garlic. If you buy it, it looks like a bulb thing, kind of like this. Why? I don't know. It's part of the onion family. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all know I'm not a chef. But if you notice inside here, they have these little, what are they called? Cloves. So each one of those is a clove of garlic. So it's got kind of like this papery skin on there. And I'll show you how to get that out and chop one up. 
you can also buy, I placed a grocery order today and I'll tell you guys about that. Yes, please share the live stream. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Please subscribe and share. You can also buy this. I just placed an order at Walmart. You see this is Spice World Fresh and Peeled Garlic. So you can buy it already peeled. But I'll show you guys the way to actually get in there. So literally you have these little groupings. And so when you take one off, so you have one of these, but you see it's got like that papery skin on there. There's lots of different ways to get in there, but I'm just going to show you guys the old fashioned way. Is it smashing it? Yeah, I'm going to smash it. <laughs> Is that how you do it? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Smash them garlic yes. cloves. All right. So I have the garlic clove on a cooking mat and I'm going to take my knife over top, not this way, but flat side down. And I'm going to press really hard onto the counter and I'll show you guys what happens. Here we go. All right. Smashed it. Smashed it. So I literally just put the knife over there and I hit it hard with my hand. Now, I don't know if you guys can see what happened. It really got in there. You see how it kind of broke the seal? All right. And then it makes it easy just to peel the papery skin off of the garlic. So you get a fresh, smooth garlic clove. So you can do it yourself. T takes a little bit longer, but you know, it's doable. Ooh, your onion looks so good. Let me show y'all what AB did with this onion. Dun 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 dun. Very nice. The whole onion turns small. AB is now at 984. Yeah. Let's raise the roof every time we get a number. <laughs> Thank you all. Please subscribe. Thank you, moderators. Thank you, um, class monitors. You guys are great. Yes, we're going to get really AV cool. to a thousand. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Wilbert hates garlic. Okay, sorry. Maybe you omit it, but. Um, yeah, maybe take it out. Take it out. You don't have to use it. Yeah. Fresh garlic, okay. But I love garlic sauteed with onion yeah. and. Yeah. All of that. The other thing too is when you saute it, it, it kind of mutes the flavor a little bit, so yeah. it's not like, "Bow, this is an onion." Bow, this is a, this is garlic. Like it mutes it a little. How does it go? Bow. This is like, you know, so, sorry. And you really don't need Watch out like, now. <laughs> yeah, lead to time the, time. Oh, look, y'all. AB's at nine eighty six. Raise the roof. <laughs> So every time we get close to a number, we're going to raise yeah, we're gonna the roof. Yeah, we're going to raise the roof with every... Is that Mama Bear Bullshit? Yeah, I did see her earlier. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. She's here. <laughs> Thank you, Lead. He likes the onions. Okay. Yeah, you guys, if you don't like onions, that's fine. Yeah. If you don't like garlic, that's fine. Take it out. You can do whatever you like. <laughs> okay. So we've got a little... Why is it that? Okay. Potatoes. Like potatoes, stuff. okay. So we've got one little uh, garlic diced. I'm going to do another one. A little bit goes a long way with garlic, so I'm going to do one more. Ah, okay. So let me smash up another one. So if you're following the recipe, we're just going to do this the, <laughs> the African way. <laughs> But the recipe says boil your potatoes. Oh, thank you, JT Coin Rings. <gasps> You're at 988. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the fun Oh, you're at 989. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, somebody just dropped a dollar. <laughs> yes, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Where is MC when you need him? Who's MC? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who. 989. Okay. So, what was I going to say? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, man. It'll come back to me. <laughs> I got distracted. Yeah, I know. See, it's easy. All right, let me put the garlic away. One more clove of garlic. Okay. Oh, oh I was going to talk about the fork tender, um, what that means. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. That's, that's good, actually. Yeah. You guys, I know, you know, some people are at different levels of cooking. <laughs> like, I'm getting a facial. See, the potatoes are melting. Um, the recipe says... You're at 991. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. You can do whatever you like. Oh, yes. Lee is saying hello. Option one. Okay. The recipe says boil your potatoes. <laughs> yeah. This cloud is just here. It's just steam. Let's switch. 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 Let
bitch. Let's switch oh, over here. I'm going to just hang out in the steam. I know. So the recipe says to cook the potatoes until they're fork tender. And I know different people are at different levels of cooking. And that just means if you put a fork in the water, it can go through the potato really, you know, easily without any pushback. You know, when you put a fork in a raw potato, how it's kind of like hard, but if you put it in there and it just kind of gives way and kind of like crumbles, that is fork tender. So that's what we're doing. What, what is Leeds say? I have no, what is that? What is happening? Are y'all crying at us? What? I don't know. I'm, what did it say? I don't know. What did it say? Don't spike the bacalao on the floor when you... Oh, we're not going to throw the food away. Okay. Let me get my other garlic. I don't know what's happening right now. What is our What is our subscriber count? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Another roof raise. Uh, of course. We got to raise the roof. Okay. But yeah, no. So we're sauteing soon, guys. Yeah. Oh, and That's we can do that. Step. We can even move the... Um, yeah, I think these potatoes are almost ready. Potatoes are almost good. Okay, and we'll take one out so you guys can see fork tender. Yeah. What am I stepping on Lee's toes? Did I do something? Is he supposed to be in the kitchen? Lee, bring your apron on. I don't know what he's doing. Y'all know. Class, <laughs> monitor our professor. You know our oh, professor can be. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of there. Um, oh, am I stepping on his toes? With I don't know what's subscribe. happening. I'm Switzerland. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Oh, um, the subscriber count. Oh, probably. Oh, yeah, maybe it's supposed to be. Yeah. Mm. Um, do you have a strainer? I do. Okay. And then, yes, because these uh, potatoes are looking really good, guys. They're kind of like soft and a little transparent, like me, when I don't have a <laughs> right? Okay, so I'm going to grab one with the fork so you guys can see the um, potato. That would be really good. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna go in there with a fork and bring one out. I mean, you guys know what soft potatoes are supposed to look like. Oh, they're moving around in here. Let's see if I can. Did you say they're soft and transparent like me? <laughs> yeah. All right, so you guys can kind of see here how the potatoes look, and I'm gonna try and put it down and get in there. Oh yeah, when I put my fork in it, perfecto. Look. Yeah, per perfect. Literally, it's like crumbling apart. So if you were going to make mashed potato, anything that you need to boil your potatoes uh, for. See if I can do it with my hands. AV got them perfect. You guys can see. Look how it just crumbles apart. And it's hot. Okay. Go ahead and strain them if you need to. Okay, yeah, you can turn, turn that off. off. Okay. So AV's going to strain <laughs> the potatoes. Um, what was I going to say? Do oh. you, like, rinse them? Like I don't. I've never made this before. Okay. I don't know what we're doing. Right. I don't know. Okay. So they're straining. Yeah. Is Mr. Option 1 talking about my cabinets? Sir, uh, look, y'all, let me see your kitchen. Who? Ooh. Okay, anyway, what's, what's happening next? In other news, he <laughs> says, can so we you boil the potatoes without skin? In this case, yes. Yeah, so the recipe, well, I don't know. I guess you could have kept them with the you skin. You can do it with skin on. But I think lead attorney says he likes his apples naked, so we made the, pot the potatoes yeah, naked. Apples naked. Yeah, maybe we'll do fried apples since lead attorney's here because this has got to bake. Okay. Yeah, it did say, the, this recipe said two pounds of potatoes, <laughs> thick and tender. Listen, look at, look at, look at the chickpeas here. Hashtag, I don't know. Y'all see what happens? Yeah, you want to smash the garlic? Of course you smash the garlic. You know what? I just just mess, you have a good chat. I have a really good chat. I'm just trying to cut up my garlic as fine as uh, AV's onions. Okay, so do you need a uh, saute pan, yes, right? Yes, so now we need a pan to start bringing it all together. Okay, so we're going to use the cast iron. So we can do it all here. Perfect. And all right. oil. And olive oil, you got it. So um, for my cooktop, it only works on stainless and cast iron. Um, if I were using the stove, I would use others. I think Link is in the cheat sheet, but this is the Lodge um, cast iron. So this is what we're gonna put our ingredients in. And then we've got some olive oil. So yeah. it's just regular like Amazon olive oil. You can use whatever you have. Okay. I'm gonna put a little dab. <gasps> Mama Bear Moment says 992 AB. <laughs> Every 
next time we do that, it's going to be the best. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. And this is sauteed. Yes. Um, it's a it goes zero to ten. Zero. Oh, what does it say? Do you need a temperature or do you need like a duck? That's fine. Okay, that's medium. All right. So this cooktop that I have, y'all, unlike a stove where you start at zero and then you crank it up, this is a digital. Yeah. So when you press it, it goes from zero to ten, but it starts at five. Oh, you're gonna put the garlic in. Is this diced enough? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. That's perfect. I'm all distracted over here. No, keep explaining. I got this. Okay. So sous chef, sous chef. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so unused to having help in the kitchen. All right. So we got our garlic chopped up. Putting the garlic in. It's starting to sizzle. Yes. Wash my hands. So Will, so I don't smell too bad for Wilbur. <laughs> all right. Then we're going to put in. So the garlic is in there with olive oil right now. Yep. Then we're going to, oh, it smells good. Yeah. And then does. we're going to put in. My awesome onions. Onions going in. Oh, yeah. And I'll show you guys what we have. I'll get a little. Um... Yeah, probably good not to put this on high heat. Okay. Do I need to turn it no, down? I think this is good. Okay. This has a tip. All right. So I'll show you guys what we have here. We just got. Ooh, it smells yummy. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do our chat and chow. If you guys have questions, when we finish cooking and we sit down to eat, we'll be able to be a little bit more engaged because right now, y'all already know. Ooh. So our onions and our garlic are starting to do their thing. I think that looks like a little. Mm hmm Yeah. Should I go ahead and preheat the oven? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I think we'll need a casserole dish since oh, okay. we are getting our... What do they call these? Aroma, aromatic, aromatic. Aromatic. Yeah. That's it. Oh, thank you, Wilbert. Um, Wilbert says, since you mentioned me, I want to remind everyone. I do have a membership program, oh, and Wilbert. Said, okay, thanks. Wilbert was the first one to join my Maggie members, and uh, he wanted to make sure we let everybody know that. Oh, thank you, Anidra. Oh, yay. Okay, so y'all know that my oven is usually got stuff in it, but I did empty it out because Mr. Option 1 said my cabinets were a mess. I'm going to get around to it. This is not a proper cooking show, okay? Um, so we've got our oven preheated at 350. Ooh, looking good. Do they want some pepper in here? Let's see. It says flake the cut. Okay, we got it in a large saute pan. So what's happening now, and I'll show you guys. In a large saute pan, so you guys saw the uh, cast iron. Add a quarter cup of the oil. We got the oil. When the oil is hot, add the onions and the garlic. Season with salt and pepper. Okay. So you want to, I'm going to show them what we have so far. Yep. So you guys can see AD's going at it with the garlic and onion. It smells amazing. All right, we're going to let her do the seasoning. Okay. Saute until lightly golden, about six minutes. All right. So while our onion and, ooh, looking good, y'all. I'm getting excited. <laughs> exactly. Lou Casey, you understand? This is not a studio kitchen. This is just me and my kitchen. Y'all know I'm not a professional. If you want to prepare, she has help today. I do, I do. I'm so excited. Ah, smells good. Okay. All right, it's looking good. So um, let's see what else we can. Let me see if I miss any questions while AB is um, uh, while AB is sautéing. If someone could update me on AB's subscriber count, we're going to keep our foot on the gas until we get AV to a thousand. All right, let's see. Yes, I'm having so much fun. Y'all know the kitchen is my happy place. Do you enjoy cooking? I love cooking. It helps me get my mind off of things. Like, it gets my mind off of the day. You know, for those of you that work in, like, corporate America, <laughs> and you guys know I go to law school, so sometimes this helps me get my mind off of stuff, you know? It's like a, a chill thing. It is. For me, it's very therapeutic. You know, everybody has their way to unwind. Some people go to the sauna. <laughs> um, some people like, oh, yeah, please don't. Yeah. Some people like massage, okay. whatever. Done? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, you said your casserole dish. Let me go get that. Um, all right. Yeah, we're almost done, guys. Probably about 75% done with this dish. It's awesome. There's a lot, there's so much going on in this chat right now. I know, we're coming, y'all. We can't do everything. Yeah, we're almost there. Is this size okay, or do you need like the big one? Let me get you the- No, I think that one's good. I think that one's good. It's just the two of us, right? Yeah, it's just us, okay. Because I do have the, I'll get it out just so we can pop through it. Yeah. This is cast iron, so I hope it's not. Yeah, careful with that if you need help. It's like brown, guys, you see it? Oh, uh, nice flavor. Ooh, it looks so good. Do you like that little and the pepper flake on there? Yep. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it looks awesome. Okay, so that's done. You preheated the oven. Yeah, oven is preheated. The next thing you have to do is put olive oil in your casserole dish. Okay, I'll do that. I'm gonna just show them the two sizes that we have. Oh, cool. All right. So a little variety. You know, since my cabinets are such a mess, Mr. Option One. Okay, just so you guys know, this right here, like this rectangle shape, 13 by nine, usually when you see something in a recipe that says a casserole dish, this, uh, yes, how close are we? Y'all know we need to get AV there. Uh-oh, okay. Oh, you turned it off, good. Um, this is typically a casserole dish, but like AV said, with most recipes, if you're cooking for the family, y'all saw my tips, double it up. Mm -hmm. If you're just cooking for one or two, maybe half, okay? So I am going to use this small square size since it's just me and AV, but I did want to show you guys if you're doing the proper recipe, this is a casserole dish. Okay, and then I need olive oil in here, right? Yep, olive oil goes into the casserole dish. All right, so we're going to put olive oil in here. Is it just to kind of like grease it up? Yep. Okay. So what I did is I poured some oil in there and then you guys see I'm kind of moving it around so that we get all of the sides kind of covered. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, that looks great. Okay. And, and then with a casserole, a casserole, think of a lasagna, right? Anything that has like ingredients that you layer on top of each other and then you bake it. That's a casserole. All right. So grease a medium oven proof casserole dish with one teaspoon. Okay, I was a little heavy. Yeah, that's with right. olive oil. Season the potatoes with salt and pepper. Yeah. All right. So we will do that over here on this side. Yes, y'all, please. Let's get AB to 1,000. Oh, we're at 994. Who is going? <laughs> Who is going to be the 1,000th subscriber? Who's gonna do it, y'all? Okay, so we got our potatoes um, seasoned, so we're gonna put them in here. Perfect, ooh. So you just do one layer, you don't do like um, potato and then... I think it was just a little bit. Okay. Just do one layer of everything. So we cooked our cut up potatoes and we've seasoned them with salt and pepper, so they've gone in first. All right. Spread half of the potatoes over the bottom of the dish. It's okay. Yep. We could take out half if you want to. Sprinkle half of the cod over the potatoes. So okay. <coughs> Let me get the fish. Yeah. <coughs> While you do that, I am gonna take out half. Okay. Just so they could see. What and we'll like. do like one piece of fish and then more potato and then. Yeah. So you guys, all we did is we put all the potato in, but we're actually going to layer this. We're five away, Luke Hazley. Oh wow. my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know who wants to be number 1000. Maybe you can get some happy mail from me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> We're at 995. <laughs> oh god, I know it's so exciting, right? Okay. So, sorry. Focus, Maggie. Yeah. So, what we did, you guys can see we took out some of the potato, so we have a layer of potato in here. Place half the onion mixture over the salt cod. So the fish is going in. Okay. And then so, we put some of the onions on top. So you, you want me to just like flake it in there like that? Yep. Okay. So you guys, what I'm doing is I'm just using a fork to kind of go at the fish that you guys saw that we cooked and you see it's still hot. So we're going to do one filet in over the potato. Okay. Yeah, that actually looks so this uh, air fryer recipe, you know, don't be afraid of fish. I mean, you guys can see it is still very tender inside. Mm -hmm. So wow. you could do this like with asparagus. You can do a side of broccoli. You could flake it and put it over a salad. 
How else do you eat salmon or what do you do? Yeah, I usually do like salmon with asparagus on the side, sprinkle some lemon on top, Ooh. grill it. Oh Ooh. my God. That's really good when it's grilled. Um, a salad is always good. A niçoise salad. What's that? A niçoise salad. I don't know um, what it is. Y'all know what I don't like know. It's a French type of salad. Um, yeah. They might it might be with like a arugula and like certain type of like I think it's like niçoise olives, right? I don't know everything that's in there, but it's really good. Okay. Oh, Sherry says salmon tacos. Oh I've God. never had salmon tacos. That sounds good. Hmm. Yeah. That sounds really good. Yeah, that does sound good. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you guys, once you get like a protein down, uh, drop the piece. I'll that's have okay. that. <laughs> once like, you. <laughs> Here. Once you get like one protein down, like you can kind of substitute it for a lot of different things, right? Mm -hmm. Oh God, this looks so good over these potatoes. I'm going to show y'all what we have. Wow. All right. So we had two fish fillets. Y'all saw me uh, shred one. So we have put it all over the potato. So this was one of the um, fish fillets, <laughs> fillets of fish. <laughs> Yes, y'all. 52 people in here. Make sure you're subscribed. I want to know who's going to, if you're number 1000, take a screenshot because you will get a special gift from me. Oh, Absolutely. Daddy. Absolutely. Y'all, we got to help each other out. I love it. I love it. Anything can be in a taco. Okay. So now we've got our. Yep. So the next thing is yeah, to what? put the onions. Okay. Let me just clean nice this thing. up. Yep. You okay. Got it. Take time. So I'm just using a towel to kind of wipe around. Anytime you have a little spill, not only for presentation then, but because you're going to bake this, you don't want the salmon juice or whatever to get all crusty. Salmon juice. That way you can save dishes. If you're doing a casserole, you put this in the oven. Then when it comes out of the oven, you can put this on the table to serve out of. So that's a little tip too. Yeah. All right. So AV's got these beautiful, you need a little container or a little spatula thing. You see, yeah. we've got her Wait, onions. Use this one. Okay. Ooh, salmon burgers. That sounds good. Yeah. Um, Let me get you here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. So we've got potato, salmon, and then we're going in with the onion. Ooh, I'm getting excited now. Oh, I'm getting really excited. Good. Let's get excited. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and the oven is preheated. Oven's ready. Ooh, this is looking good. I don't think the me. pictures do it justice yeah. because this is one of my favorite things that my grandma makes. Y'all, I'm telling you, that's one way I am well aware of everything that's happening in the world, but a home cooked meal, mm -hmm. aren't those like the best memories? Yeah. Okay. So let me show you guys what we have. So if you can see there, the softened onions on there. So we got the potato, we've got salmon and we've got onion. And then do we repeat? Yes. The layers, okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah, place another layer of potato, okay. Oh, got that. oh my God, Snuggles said, if we get to 1,000, Snuggles is gonna come up, y'all. Ah! If you wanna see Maggie go viral, Snuggles needs to come up here. <laughs> Can y'all, would y'all, oh my God, I can't even. All right, so we put the rest of the potatoes over here, so that's our second layer. And then what was next, the fish? Yep. Okay. So I'm going back into the second piece of fish. Y'all see, y'all see that? Y'all see how this is just, look at it, look at it. You know you want some, <laughs> you know great. you want some. All right, so the fish is going on to the potato. Yeah, I love how that's flaking. I'm telling you, you can make fish, you can do this. Um, it's just mustard. And then we did paprika, garlic powder, salt and pepper. You could use any seasonings that you have. I'll show you guys what I've done. I'm literally just mashing the salmon for the casserole, and it's just so tender. I'm using a fork. I'm just using a fork to yeah. do it. Cool. <laughs> all right, so then we're going to put this all over. While you do that, we'll look at our last thing. Yes, we're making bacalao. Am I saying it right? Yes, you are. Bacalao. <laughs> look at that. Uh, it's so, the one word I know. Don't ask me what it means. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. But AV said she would come cook, so I said you're gonna we're gonna cook something that that um, that you can teach us about. I don't know what this stuff is, but yeah. it looks good. Minus the chickpeas. 
Yeah, so where, so the chickpeas, where would they have gone? They would have been mixed in with all of this. Probably okay. on the layers between the potatoes and the other stuff. This particular recipe did not have chickpeas. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Okay, so y'all, I found the recipe, so blame me. I did ask AV if this was okay to use. And one other little tip while I'm doing this. So you guys saw that I got this recipe off Food Network. Y'all know that I'm big on the grocery delivery services. With my Walmart or Instacart or whatever, when you go to these websites, there's a little button there that says add all items to cart. So I literally clicked one button and it put the eggs, the olive, the everything. So cool. Yeah. So just a you know, a little time saver. Yeah. All right. So our fish is gone. Oh my god, it looks so good. All right, y'all. So you can see our salmon was flaked over top of the potato. And you're gonna do the last bit of onion. Yep. Yeah. So putting the onions on the top. And then this is about to go in the oven. We're gonna yeah. put a little bit of olive oil on it. Ooh. Okay. Looking good. It does look good, okay. And it smells good. Oh, I just love, um, so a little tip you guys, you saw AV sauteing these onions. For meal prep, you can go ahead and like, she did a beautiful job cutting these up. She really did amazing. She got them nice and small. You can go ahead and cook a whole bunch of onion down and then have something like this in a meal prep container, toss it in an omelet, toss it on top of a steak, on a burger, eat it. Great job. They look amazing. All right. So now, OMG. Oh, are we at $9.99? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. Lee says I'll do it myself. Get ready to celebrate. What happened? What happened, y'all? Okay, let's wait. AV's gonna check her um her website. We're at 9.96. Okay, we're at 9.96. Please wow. go support. This is interesting. Okay, I'm telling y'all. 9.96. Wait, they did we have to Oh. Okay, so we put the <laughs> olive oil on here and then yep. now what happens? I would just put a little bit more pepper. Absolutely, you Maybe you not salt, but Doctor it up, however you pepper. like it. Whatever you like. Okay. All right, <gasps> AB, go look again. No. Look again. No. Okay, hold on guys, we're checking, we're checking. We are at one day. <laughs> I'm gonna be over here in the back. <laughs> wow, guys, this is a great way to celebrate. I know. Too. We're like, celebrating with all of y'all. Yeah. We're celebrating with Bacalao. I know, Bacalao. I know, Papi Blanco is saying that it's it's a Latin thing, but it is, it's different in every <laughs> culture, right? <laughs> I don't know. I've never had this before, but. It's uh, crazy. Baby, 1000. I'm so happy. Y'all, thank you so much, yeah. scholars. Oh, lead attorney, anybody know, said thank you, you everybody. Look at everybody celebrating. Oh my, this, is, this is crazy. Oh my gosh. Go really Amy, <laughs> go Amy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so do we want to put this in the oven and yes. then we can actually talk to the people? Yeah, we can talk to the people because the only thing left is just parsley. Oh, I can do this part. You talk yeah. to the people. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what to say to be <laughs> honest with you. Like a year, like a, a month ago, like I started this channel, not knowing what was going to happen, not knowing what I was doing, not knowing how to live stream. Like it's, it's, this is a lot. I'm going to go ahead and put it in because you put the parsley in when it comes out as a garnish. Yes. Okay. And then, and then we have, um, as we're talking about that. The garnish also, is all that. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk so about this, that in a minute. So okay. go ahead and tell them about your channel. Like, yeah. So this is a lot. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's, it's only been a month. And, you know, to, to have all the support from all of you guys, I can't tell you what that means, you know, especially when you didn't really have a plan to start a YouTube channel no. and then you do it and you see what the response is, you know, like uh, it's not easy to put your life online. Like um, I can tell you guys over the past few weeks, like people say crazy things to me in comments, yeah. like just wild stuff in comments. Right. Yeah. Um, Lita saying he wants his gift. 
The lead yeah. is saying he wants his gift. We're gonna. I'm gonna bring that down. He wants his gift. I gave him a gift. What is he talking about? Oh, yeah. hello, mom. Nana's Aww. here. <laughs> That is amazing. We're going to bring it down. And so you guys, because we've got 30 yeah. minutes for this to bake. Yes. So we'll actually talk to you guys now. Okay, okay, We're okay. not even going to worry about it. We'll, we'll yeah. Continue. Yeah. This, this is a lot. I st I'm still i still trying to process. So it oh. might take me a minute before I can appear and Need a cocktail it. or something. Okay. Right. If anybody gets motion sickness, forgive me. It's just me in my kitchen. But I'm bringing you guys down so we can chat while our... Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can... Move it in. Yeah, let's bring Move it, in. it in. And then I might, might need to make a cocktail so we can celebrate. Let's okay. Do it. Okay. Let's do it. Let me see. Do I have anything? I've got rum. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nice and she has rum. Was the lead? Oh, lead was number 1,000. That's why he wants a gift. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Okay, Thank lead. Thank you so much, lead. Okay, lead. I get it. Y'all, see how I'm distracted? So now I'm here. Lead was number 1,000. That is awesome. I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited too. Okay, now let's go back to the chat. So I've got the timer on so yeah. I don't get another troll about burnt <laughs> bacalao. <sighs> Y'all know how you do me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Kali says you want an old-fashioned Maggie. Is that the cocktail? Okay, I've got to see. <laughs> Y'all are laughing at me. Thank you for the Maggie merch. Okay. Yes, lead attorney, you get a gift. Okay. Um, oh, everybody's talking to each other. Yes, follow. I'm just scrolling back, y'all. Hello, Nana's here. Y'all know my mom is a retired home economics teacher. That so is awesome. She's our principal, so thank you, Nana. Oh, look at Snuggles. The lead attorney took a whole year to get to 1,000 people. I don't think we want to antagonize him, guys. <laughs> From one year to one month. <laughs> we should probably not say that sentence out loud while oh. he's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yes, you guys, we're all celebrating. Everybody yeah. raise your glasses. I'm going to make a, um, oh, I need to make fried apples. Do I need to make fried apples for, for lead attorney? or? Yeah, you should teach me how to make them. I need to teach you how to make fried apples. Okay, I'm going to clean up a little bit. And... Um, <laughs> It's actually pretty easy. That's cool. So yeah, feel free. Okay, you. absolutely. Mr. Option One says, got any scotch? <laughs> <sighs> yes, I do have well, it. I, I don't know if I like scotch. Oh, Sherry says, Cape Verdean iced tea. <laughs> she said, I made that up. Mr. Option One. Oh, there you go. It. <laughs> there you go. Mona says, Q for AB. Yeah. What will you call your subscribers? Ooh, good question. That's, a, that's an excellent question. The thing is, is like I'm trying to infuse some parts of my culture in there, right? Like, um, and confession, I could speak really broken Portuguese. Mm. Right? So I'm still trying to like learn it myself properly. Um, but maybe as I'm learning, we can use, we can pull in some of those words, right? I don't know if any of you guys have seen any of my videos, but I always start by saying manera. Yeah, what which, does that mean? That means what's up. Ah. Right? That means what's up. Right. So as we kind of keep going, like I'll pull in some of those elements. So that was a really good question, Mona. Yes. Thanks, Mona. Yeah. And I'm just really excited to have a new troll for Maggie. For <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Now, we need to talk about what's next to get you monetized. Do you know the steps and do you know where you are with the next part of the process? Yeah. So I believe the next step of the process is watch hours. Right. That's yes. where I do need to put in work. Um, that's okay. We're going to help. We're yeah. Gonna there. When I watched it, when I looked at it this morning, I had about 748 watch hours. Can you tell everybody what a watch hour is? Yeah. So watch hours is kind of the equivalent of how much time people are spending watching your videos. Mm -hmm. right? Um, the more you have, the easier you, it is to get monetized. I think you need 4,000. Um, what I've started to learn is that when you live stream, when you do this, right, not only does it help you connect to the community, Yay! um, you need some more watch hours. Okay? Yeah, so absolutely. I think um, I'm convinced that that, that actually works. Um, and I'm going to do more of that. Uh, I did an experiment and thank you to lead because yeah. he did it with me and taught me how to do all of this stuff and yeah. held my hand. Yeah. Um, it was kind of like, Hey, you know, I can show you how to do this, Absolutely. which was great. So we did our first live I'm stream. I'm a student too. Yeah. yeah. We did our first live stream and I'm still like blown away that it has 4,000 views. Wow. You know? 
Um, and we just covered the Nipsey Hustle um, trial. And interestingly enough, that's not really being covered um, in black media. So to be a law student and to be able to weigh in uh, with the seasoned attorney was a huge honor. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I'm, I'm just super <coughs> grateful for you guys and grateful for this collab. And grateful Absolutely. For you, I'm so like, glad that she's here, y'all. I know. Oh, I know. my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting the ingredients together for the fried apple. So I usually make this. I'm going to give you two options. I know lead attorney is here, and he wants his gift. So I'm going to make you a virtual gift, and then I'll have to come up with something. Maybe we can uh, get lead, um, you know, some Maggie merch or something. I don't yeah. know. So the fried apples, which are now TLA's famous fried apples. Um, in all seriousness, you know, one, the cooking that I do on my channel is really coming up with ways to enjoy food because I like eating. Yeah. I think most people enjoy food. Some people are like, yeah, I don't care as long as I'm not hungry. I like to eat. But I'm always cooking for others, which I enjoy. It is very therapeutic. <laughs> oh, Mama Bear, thank you, sweetheart. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I saw that happening. I had to do it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Y'all, I just, I can't with the, I don't know who these people are. You don't come out you don't come out into the real world, but you have so much to say. <laughs> See, this how I lose my train of thought. Okay. So the fried apples are basically like a dessert that I, I'll say I made up mm -hmm. using my substituted ingredients. But you oh. can make it with full flavor ingredients. But I was going to ask you, would you be open to trying the substituted ingredients or would you like... Yeah, we're in the substitute kitchen, but... <laughs> but... I need to learn how to do it the regular way. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through everything. So everything that I'm gonna show AV and I'm gonna show you guys with this signature dessert, it's really easy. We're gonna use the substituted ingredients because I'd love for you to taste it yeah. and tell me what you think. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you guys so many different options that you can do. What are they? I don't even know. I don't. Do I want to know? Let me get my ingredients. I don't know. What are they saying? I don't know. Shay. <laughs> Snuggles, the dryer sheets are getting to you. <laughs> that was a excellent one. Oh, oh my god, what is wrong? What is going on? I don't know. Oh, oh my god. I hope I tell you. See, this is why when I'm cooking, I have no idea what these people are saying, but I'm gonna get my yeah. butter and cinnamon. And... So what goes into this? Okay, so I'll tell you guys and then I'll get it because I'm usually so if you like apple pie. <laughs> Okay, so for anybody new here, anytime I have a cooking faux pas, another custom troll is born. Whoever you are, you are here to remind me and to humble me that I, I never <laughs> said I was a proper chef. I am trying and you are- You're doing a good job. Well, You're thank doing a good you. job. You're doing an excellent job. Oh my God. There's nothing on top of the fridge, so, you know. So in case anybody doesn't know what that is about, I tried to make, I did make a creme brulee, but it's a whole technique. You got to cook it in a water bath. It's a yep, lot. Yep, yep, so yep. when I went to move the custard from the water bath, it knocked over. I got custard on me, custard oh on my, my apron, custard in my hair, custard on the fridge, custard on the stove, and custard explosion was born. Is, yeah yeah so okay, this okay. is this way so back to the fried apple Monica's tears. i'm telling you yeah you see what i mean see what i mean you you'll get to four thousand, no problem just with these shenanigans okay you said shenanigans is that the word of the day yeah i say it all the time oh maybe i picked it up from you maybe yeah. i'm picking up the boston accent maybe i need to pack my car i don't even think i said it pack right. my car Park my you gotta park your car at the Harvard Yard. You know, you gotta put your, your keys. What are you doing? You know, that's how they talk. It's just you know what's funny that you say raspy thing. It is, and yeah. you say rad. I rad. I never say you say rad. something. Oh, wicked too. Something's wicked, yeah. wicked good, or wicked, wicked good. I'm thinking whip it. Or if you're like doing a Yui, we call it busting a Yui. You gotta bust a Yui at the corner there. <laughs> There's no R. There's basically no letter R at all. See my 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 highlighted comment. I was dropped on the counter during her most struggle stream. <laughs> I was trying to make a cake. I was actually going to make a cake, but y'all are just... Ah, look at the Christmas bacon! I'm sorry, I'm learning. She left me in the air. 
I made it's been 20 years. I made bacon and I forgot it. That's why I told you guys I set the timer. Okay, you see how they do me. I set the timer. <laughs> I got this. I'm gonna turn the air down. It's a lot. See how no, they I'm, they're making me laugh. Like that's that's what the thing okay. is. Okay, you asked about the fried apples. We are trying to make lead attorneys fried apples. In case anybody wants to know, here's the oh. recipe. If you like, if you like apple pie, um, this is a great and very easy way to make kind of like a crustless apple pie. But I'm gonna show you guys some ways to doctor it up. So the ingredients you need are real apples. Okay. I'm going to use real apples. I know lead attorney does like his um, skin off. So you can peel them. These are naked apples. Yes. If you're making naked fried apples, <laughs> you would peel the skin. I'm a little bit more modest. So I usually just slice them. Okay. But I'll let you choose. Do you want naked? or? I need to learn how to make naked okay. apples. So we're going to make naked apples. So I'm going to peel the apples. Yeah. And you can do this just like the casserole. You can do. Do they have to be Macintosh or can they be granny? They can be any apple. Okay. And actually, y'all, because this recipe is going to include like butter and brown sugar, I don't like the tart apples like the Granny Smith. That's why I asked. But in this recipe, because we're going to sweeten them, the tart actually balances well. I buy whatever's on sale. So what I <laughs> what I have are the Gala apples. I don't know how you say it. Yeah. Oh, someone else is the Pactacon, the Hobbit Yacht, yeah, whatever. It's just no R. Oh my gosh. Excellent I, work. <laughs> um, yes, I am a hot. You too, Monica. I thought I was the only one that gets hot splashes. Y'all know I'm old, whatever. Okay, we got another Boston person. So you need basically apples. You can get them whole or you can buy the ones already sliced, like for the kids' lunches or whatever. Yep. You can use those. Um, butter, brown sugar, cinnamon nutmeg it's really easy y'all and i'm going to show you how to do it oh wilbert likes gala apples real apples only not fake yeah so if you guys like that uh <laughs> like that mcdonald's apple pie thing this is also a good way if you have kids that are picky eaters and they don't like fruit this is a great way to add in you know like real whole fruit so i'll show you guys how to do them all right so let me start and get my ingredients. Okay. And I'm going to do anything. No, this one I will do. Since you did the bacalao, I'm going to do this one and I'll just tell you how to make substitutions. Yep. Let me get everything. And then, yeah, because we've got a few more minutes in the oven. Thank you guys for showing showing me what uh, the trolls are about. Oh my God. Out. You see what I mean? I have friendly trolls. I mean, they're just persistent, but oh my goodness. Yes. So Lisa's asking can we use regular sugar instead of brown sugar? I'm sure you can. Yeah, I'm sure you can use regular sugar. I'm going to move this back okay. up here. Yep. So we're standing. Yeah, here. just we'll come back to sitting down when the food is done. But yes. since we're going to maximize our time. Yep. Okay. So we're taking a, a little field trip back up to the counter. Sorry, hopefully you guys don't get motion sickness. This is not a proper cooking show. I keep telling you, it's just me in my kitchen. But now it's me and A.V. Yeah, Yay! yeah. Yeah. Okay. Snuggles is asking, what do you people call a troll? Oh, Snuggles. Okay, you're not a troll. You're a bot. I don't know what you are, Snuggles. I just, y'all, I can't. I can't with some of y'all. All right. Maggish trolls are like friendly ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> like Casper. Luke Casely's funny. Mmm. <laughs> you probably could use molasses, but is molasses sweet? Because you need a sweetener. I've never used molasses. Have you ever used molasses? No. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Does anybody know if molasses is sweet? You know, I think it's like a... I don't know if you guys have tasted it. Uh, my funny story about molasses is back in the day in Boston in the 1920s, there was a giant molasses like, uh, there's like a, a molasses explosion. Basically it was in like this giant like water tank um, at this factory and it ruptured somehow and like flooded a street in the city. It's crazy. They talk about it on history tours all the time. Insane. So when oh you talk gosh. about molasses, that's what I thought about just now. Oh. I'm sure it'll work though. Yeah. All right. Got a little hot. Sorry about that. Okay. So I am going to use a little small. Um, Some of the ladies are telling us what molasses is, which is great. Oh, mol molasses is where brown sugar comes from. Oh, it is very sweet, <laughs> but it's bitter. I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, no. What are they saying? I can't. I can't. I'll read it. I'll read it. You, you do your thing. Custard explosion says explosions. I love this story. You know what? Y'all, I come here every day. Careful, it's hot. Yeah. I come here every day to try and cook for this community. Yeah, 
it's hot. She says I, it's hot and then I touch it. <laughs> hey, that's first. one word to like, touch, touch the whole hot stove. Okay, I'm using cast iron because that's all that works and I, I did pop myself a little bit. I store my cast iron under the oven and the oven is on, so. <laughs> okay, so I have this little mini cast iron. Um, since we're just gonna make, I'm just gonna do two apples. So let's see, I'll move this out of the way so we don't touch anything. Yeah. Right. While you do that, I just want to say thank you to Lou Casey for a $5 cash app. Oh, yes, you guys. Don't forget, please, Venmo or cash app yeah. AV. She's not monetized yet, but we're going to get you there. Yeah. So if she has to keep coming back here, and if I got to keep taking the troll insults, so nice, <laughs> that's what I do for my friends. So we're going to get AV monetized. All right, so I have Gala Apples here regular apples so i'm just gonna be over here um peeling them and then why don't you talk about like do you have a sweet tooth or what kind of dessert? oh my god i love desserts oh I love really desserts. anything that's like lemony Ooh. so like lemon cake lemon cake do you know how to make do you have a mean lemon cake oh lemon my cake? gosh we made a one minute lemon cake oh my gosh i have to look this up oh my god i could probably I make it up. for it is so good maybe we'll see how how we're doing <laughs> Speaking of lemon cake. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Struggle oh. Lemon Cake says, troll insult insults are the worst. It makes me bitter. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I can't with y'all. Monica just... also loves lemon cake, so let's lighten it up. I love bit. lemon. Yeah, lemon cakes are really good. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. So Maggie is um, peeling. Yeah, I'm peeling the apple. So you can do this with modest apples like I would, or naked apples like Lead likes. Um, naked just means skin off. Mm -hmm. I like to keep the skin on for a couple of reasons. The skin on, I don't know, maybe it's the mom in me. It's like, you know, the nutrients are all in the skin. Did yeah. you ever hear that about yeah. potatoes and whatnot? Yeah. So, you know, if you're trying to eat more, um, you know, nutrients, then you can keep the skin on. Right. But then also... We love nutritious foods. Yes, we we all need to eat nutritious foods. I say I'm never the food police. Eat what you like. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you can sneak in a few healthy, you know, things. Do you eat wow. pretty healthy? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, I try to eat pretty nutritiously. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even know if that's a word. I'm tired. It's I'm okay. Hungry. It's a lot, like, right? Yeah. Um, they, are, they are here today. They are here today. Can you see that? They are here today. I wish someone loved... 20 year old air fried bacon. I asked about desserts, burnt Christmas bacon, okay? <laughs> so was this this bacon that was left in there? For I was I was years? making multiple things and y'all, it's just me and I forgot the bacon was in the air fryer. I can't was even- Was this around Christmas time? When no, is Christmas oh, part? Christmas bacon <laughs> is bacon. It's, have you ever had candy bacon? Yes. So candy bacon with brown sugar. Yeah. But add cinnamon and nutmeg. Okay. So it's like that that like holiday spice kind of on top of a candy bacon. Yep. yep. So we called it Christmas bacon and then this one was born. Okay. And then this one was born. She said it like it was a problem child. You're the redheaded stepchild, Christmas bacon. Dang. <laughs> yeah, Luke Hazley says Maggie's trolls are the nicest. I've seen uh, some really mean trolls in other chats. She is not lying about that one. Aww. Yeah. That is absolutely true. Gail is here. Hey, Gail. She how's says, it going? Hey, oh, yes, Gail. We just got um, AV to a thousand subs. So she's going to need a moderator soon if you know anybody because uh -huh. you're going to start doing some live streaming. Don't you want to be part of this uh, <laughs> crazy point, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we've got one apple done. So, so we have one naked apple. One <laughs> naked apple ready to go. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what I was saying about keeping the skin on, not only for nutrition, but also when you cook these down and you'll see them, the skin kind of helps it keep a little bit of structure. Y'all saw with that potato when I forked it, how it just kind of crumbled apart. Yeah. She's whispering. She goes, is that a bad one? I don't know, y'all. You know how I say stuff and I don't know what it means. All right, so we've got one apple. Aw, thank you. Oh my God. <sighs> Look at this. I don't know. I just. Ah! <laughs> Please, <laughs> I do. One down, one to go. I have no idea what's happening here. It must be very crispy. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Thank you, Lorenda. 
we try to be. Yes, thank you guys. If you guys like this, we'll try and do more. Yeah, Gail was here for it. Oh, yay. She was. And Gail just had like an awesome. Yes, congratulations. Gail yeah, okay. just got monetized, y'all. Everybody type. Right, we have to raise the roof. For raise this. the roof and type Gail. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody type, type Gail, Gail in the chat. In the chat. Yeah. Type Gail in the chat. You, know, um, you know those praising emojis that go like, oh, we should do that. Too. Yeah. Raising the roof. That's oh, oh my gosh. gosh, that's the raising the roof emoji. Which one? Oh, wow. <laughs> absolutely. That would be awesome. Absolutely. Ah, oh, Brooke Christmas Bacon says, follow me on Christmas Mingle, Crispy Mingle. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't with them. I can't. My trolls are just, oh my God. <laughs> I'm just over nice. here peeling a uh, an apple. I don't know what's going on. All right. Oh, where did that go? That was so funny. What happened? Follow me on Christmas Mingle. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, almost done with this apple. So you guys, again, can buy them whole. You can also buy the ones that... <laughs> Oh my gosh. See, y'all, I'm telling you. This is so much fun. I, I want to like come to your house like every Sunday. And just Please do, do. We should have a, a meetup with all the ladies and we can just cook Absolutely, stuff. yes, yes. And if you are a part of Lead Attorney's locals group, check us out. We are in there as the leading ladies. So definitely you all, y'all know Lead Attorney. He's, oh my God, what is happening? This is all these people going like this. Raise the roof for Gail. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Okay. Oh, Maggie, you're almost at 60 people in the chat. This is great. Oh, wow. Thanks, everyone. This is fantastic. Almost done with this apple. So after, you know, we're peeling these apples, but afterward, you would slice them up. We're going to slice them into like... Um, Not eight. like sliced up feet, but sliced up apples. <laughs> Sorry, it, it was there. <laughs> it was, says the future attorney, right? It was there. Like, I had to go for it. Yes, absolutely. We understand. No, we're going to cut these up. I'll walk you guys through everything, and then we're just going to butter, brown sugar. Now, the thing with this, honestly, I probably should have done it earlier, but it's okay. You can cook while our... We got seven minutes left on the... I'm just going to look at it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks so good. Really good? Okay. It's great. All right, so I did a little bit of a rough peel. So we've got our apples here. I'm going to get another um, cutting mat and just cut them. Cool. Awesome. So we can uh, show everybody. Oh. Maggie's making a two course meal here. Absolutely. Well, we actually did three things. We showed you guys how to do proper salmon, a really easy air fryer recipe with yep. mustard and then whatever spices you like. And then um, we showed you guys, well, we're gonna try this, uh, this bacalao. Okay. So you don't have to have, AV has really good knife skills, but if you don't, that's fine. Cut in half, and then cut in half, and then cut in half. That's all you have to do. Yeah. As you're cutting that, Struggle mm -hmm. Lemon Cake has an excellent question here. So we'll bring that up. The question is, AV, do you struggle in law school? I struggle in the kitchen at times. Yeah. I do. I do. How is law school going? Are you on summer break or is yeah, it year round? Kind of, or? Yeah, I'm going, I'm approaching my last class, guys. Yay! So from August to November and then I'm done. Oh my God. Uh, law school's tough. Yeah, I believe tough. it, yeah. I, I mean, I work during the day and I go to school at night. Mm -hmm. And they're just long days. Like, you know, I start work at 8 a.m., get off at 5, then go to school from 5 to 11, get home at 11.30, go to sleep and do it again the next day. Oh my God. But, um... It's going to pay yeah. off. It's it going to pay it off. Is. Counselor, it yes. Is. I don't know if y'all, let me take this off, y'all. We got, <laughs> Amy's a little I'm short. I'm short. I'm 5'3". So, so like, Amy's yeah. got some Maggie merch and um, you guys, these are the Maggie aprons in khaki and you can see here, I had it personalized for her and I think there's a sale going on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we have our apple. So I just put it flat side down and then we're just cutting it into like these type of, I don't know, wedges or whatever. Mm -hmm. You could dice them smaller if you wanted to. Okay. Well, you know what? You like a small dice. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Perfect. All right. So, so we just small dice them. Mm -hmm. I usually do the, um, I'll do a couple of them, but yeah. Uh, Friendsgiving says, oof, that's a long day. That yes. is a long day. Those days are coming to an end. I know. So oh my gosh. I can't wait to be done, guys. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. 
That is going to be awesome. Well, I'm very proud of you because I know I couldn't do it. Shoot. No, I don't, that's too much reading for me. Custard Explosion says, Lemon Cape, stop asking Ava <coughs> questions. Okay. <laughs> Now we got uh now we got the trolls. Oh, the trolls go at it all the time. Okay, now there's another response. Oh my gosh. Uh, cousin Tony asked question once. Oh wait, cousin Tony was my second attempt at a creme brulee. Oh my god. And exploding custard said, "No wait, that's my cousin Tony in there. It's hot or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, all of that. Yeah." Sure, you want to live stream with these people? <laughs> All right, we're almost done with the naked apples. Yeah. I just cut them into wedges and then I'm just dicing them. Here's two things with the dice. They will actually cook faster the smaller the pieces are. So we'll just do this one and um, I'll make it the way you like. I'm going to keep mine mm -hmm. in, um, uh, what's it called, in wedge. Okay, okay. It's still a little warm. All right, so you want to get any skillet. I'm using a little cast iron, butter and brown sugar. If you ever made these the full flavor way, butter and brown sugar. I'm going to show you my substitute. Brown sugar. Yeah, butter, brown sugar. <clears throat> Got it. So, Dora said, Oh, oh that's Nana. My mom. Apple and potato skins help provide fiber for digestion. See? Super important. Thanks, mom. So, um, we did peel the apples. So, these are TLA's naked fried apples, but. You can make this with the skin on, and like Nana just shared with us, if you have tummy issues, then you can eat some potato skins and apple skins, and that fiber is good for you. Yeah, that's important. I do not need an apron troll. Y'all, I'm I'm full. Okay, the troll, what does what Lead say when the back is full? You know, like he's the-, the, the back is closed. Yeah, the, back, the, troll, the troll back is closed. Okay, butter. Y'all know, I, or if you don't know, welcome. I am sensitive to cow dairy, so I use a lot of substitutes with goat's butter, goat's milk, goat's cheese. It sounds weird, but it's not. It is real butter. It looks just like regular butter. Yeah, so I'm going to make this for you, so you can tell me what you think. Okay. It's butter made from goat's milk, so if anybody has a dairy sensitivity, this is a great substitution for you. So how much butter? I don't know. Probably a couple tablespoons. Y'all know I don't know. I just make this stuff up. I love when she says that. I don't, I don't know. know. I am working on a cookbook because you do need a, you cook need a cookbook. You do need a cookbook. You need a cookbook. Yes. You need a cookbook. When I get the cookbook, I'll get you proper measurements. But here's the thing. I'm just doing like, this is probably two tablespoons. Yeah. But what you want is you want enough to cover the bottom of the pan. So I'm doing one apple for AV. So this is probably more than enough because I'll take yours out and then I'll probably just use the same. Okay. So I'm just putting the butter in the pan. Let me turn this on like a medium low. Medium low. Yeah. Okay. So we're starting with just butter. And then the next ingredient would be brown sugar. If you can have proper brown sugar, use it. Maybe even regular sugar. That's fine. Maybe even molasses. I don't know. Y'all try it and let me know. I don't know. The, I don't know. I'm not a chef. This is what I'm using. So this is like the version that I would eat, right? So this right here is the Truvia Sweet Complete. You see this says brown with a hint of molasses. So you can see it says calorie-free sweetener with stevia. So for me, this is my zero calorie substitute. So you would use this in place of brown sugar. Are they going at it again? I can't. Well, just said something funny. Use the torch. <laughs> okay, you know how you make a creme brulee and yeah. you... Wilbur. Lucasely does have a, uh, an important question. Yes, what does Lucasely say? Uh, do the apple and potato skins work for dog tummy, tummy aches? Eggs? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let me focus, y'all, because y'all know I'll be burning stuff and then I'll have another troll. Okay, let's not do that. I'm going okay. back away. No, it's fine. Back away. So keep your eyes on the butter. So you see it's melting fast. Keep your eyes on butter. Butter goes from solid to liquid mm -hmm. to foaming to sizzling to burnt pretty quickly, okay? It's moody. Yes, so butter it can move pretty quickly. So this is my brown sugar substitute. So you guys see that it gives me the um, the um, brown sugar, like wet sand experience. How much brown sugar? I don't know. A couple spoons? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but so when it comes to measurement, adjust it for your portion. So you guys see here, I have enough brown sugar to kind of coat the bottom, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so we've got that. 
and I'm going to do like maybe like two heaping teaspoons. Oh, I'll do that. Okay, here. And um, the other one is up there. Yes. Uh -oh. uh -uh, on this side behind. There's another mat. Yeah, they don't match. But. Okay, that's okay. So AV is going to get our bacalao out of the oven. I know. Focus, Maggie. Exactly. Where's my spoon? Oh, it's in here. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're going to put these in here and then we're going to dress the bacalao. So brown sugar substitute going in. So I'll show you guys what we have. Can I have one of those, please? Okay. So in the butter, I just put some brown sugar. Then I'm going to do use whatever cinnamon. This is the Saigon cinnamon. Kirk Anderson said it, it helps stuff. What stuff? I don't know. He says it's healthy. <laughs> if you have dollar store cinnamon, use the dollar store cinnamon. But I'm trying, y'all. Oh, I love it. Yeah, just today. He said it was good for maybe your heart. Pick a body part. I don't ah. know. So you see we've got the sprinkle of cinnamon on there. Okay, so your butter, yep. brown sugar, yep. cinnamon, and nutmeg is optional. But anytime you're doing like a, a sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg just adds a little warmth. This can be any warming spice that you like. It could be clove. It could be nutmeg. It could be, are they going in? I don't know what's happening over there. All right. All right. So we've got nutmeg. Okay. How much? I don't know. When do you stir? I'm going to stir it now. Okay. Yeah. So let's get a little spatula. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> a little spatula. A little spatula there, because I'm making just one portion. Let me turn this down. So we've got our liquid, we got our sugar, we got our uh, nutmeg. I'm just going to kind of, it's all sizzling and yummy. And then we're just going to put our apples in here and we're really just wow. going to leave them. So we're making like a nice little like, sugary sweet caramel kind oh, of sauce so good. it smells good so those are the spices that kind of give you that warm yummy yummy mm -hmm. okay so we've got diced apples i don't know if lead is still with us we didn't ask you but i'll ask you sir since you deserve a prize when i usually make the apples i keep them in the sections but we've diced them so let us know if diced is okay and i'm just putting them Yes. Oh, you can hear the sizzling. Oh, yeah. Y'all like that sizzle. You know you like it. Wow. And then you're tossing it on low heat. Yeah, because it can, yeah. And I'll show you guys what we have. And we're just going to let this sit. I'll show you guys what we have. I know, right? So you guys see our apples, brown sugar, butter, cinnamon, and nutmeg. So we're just going to let this kind of do its thing over here. Here's a tip. If you're going to make fried apples, how long do you let them cook? I don't know. As firm as you want. If you like them a little bit crunchy, like al dente, Ooh, it smells, smells so, so good. good. Al dente, then maybe like five minutes. If you like them mushy, like the inside of an apple pie, maybe like 10 minutes. And then the smaller the apples are cooked, cut, the faster they will cook. Let's get, I don't know what they're saying. They're, are they going in on me? No, Khalees, it's on low heat. It's on low heat, it's yes. On low heat. You just want it to kind of like sizzle in that butter bath. <laughs> Snuggles, this is not high cholesterol. Thank you. It is goat butter, which has been approved for me. But you know what, Snuggles? Why don't you try it? Oh, Snuggles, you said you were going to come up. Oh, where's Snuggles? Yeah, let where me. Is Snuggles? Here we Drop go. The link. I'm dropping the link. Snuggles, <laughs> Snuggles, you said you would come up if we got AV to a thousand, and she is now at a thousand. Ask Professor Lead Attorney. So, Snuggles, I need you to cam up and be a man or a woman of your word Ooh. and show us all. I did my part, you do yours. Wow. Here's Snuggles. <sighs> this one right here. Okay, let's. um. We're gonna show you guys the bacalao. I don't know. It what is doing. getting really real in here. Oh yeah. Oh, this looks so good. Okay. Oh my god. I want to show you guys what we have. So you see the potato, the onion, the fish. It looks really, really good. Yes. Oh, she's stirring up. Stir it up, little darling. Stir it up. Oh, snuggles. You don't want any. No, you don't. You don't want any. Snuggles ain't trying to. Okay, so I am going to chop up the parsley, 
careful because this is hot. So we're going to garnish. I'll let you do the olives. I don't eat olives, but I'm okay. gonna eat. I'm going to eat them because I always try it. The do you want me to put it on half of the casserole? No, I want you to do the the whole thing. I want to eat the whole thing. Okay. It does look good, doesn't it? And uh, we're gonna take pictures. The pictures are gonna go on our community tabs and all of that. So let me chop up. So this recipe says, looks very good, looks very good. The recipe says, bake for 30 to 40 minutes Done. or until golden. I'm not paying attention. I dropped the link. Try me if you want to. Okay, place on the serving platter. We got that. Garnish with sliced eggs, olives, and parsley. So I'm going to give you the eggs. It's okay, you said. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. You can slice the eggs and I'm going to, so we've got, of course you can make your own eggs. And I think AV says when she makes it, she um, cooks the eggs in with the potatoes. That's smart. If you have raw eggs, I just bought these already hard boiled. So she's cutting these up. I also have this is Italian parsley. I don't know if that matters, but we're going to just cut up a little bit for garnish. Nana said our plate should have at least three colors, so we're trying to make it colorful. Yeah. That's actually a really good rule of thumb. Yeah, that's what mom said. Try to get three different colors on your plate when you're serving yourself or serving others. All right. Oh, one little tip. I'm not gonna cut up all of this. I'm going to tear off some and I'm going to rinse the part. Uh-huh. I'm going to rinse the part that I um, am tearing. Yeah. Snuggles, I'm waiting on you. All right. Ooh. So we'll show you guys what AV has uh, got going on over here. Let me cut up this parsley. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm like wicked focused. Oh, yeah. She's wicked focused. Huh? It looks really good. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Look at this right here. This is my, uh, the private chat. When I drop the link for that person, that's what I get. They come up and. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, we are very proud of AV and her channel. Maggie, and y'all can say... Thank you for your friendship, Maggie. Seriously, this is amazing. Aww, I love you too, AV. Y'all, yeah. we got to support each other. And that's what I love about this community. We really do take care of each other. And you all, when AV is the big... I don't want to say boss attorney, but like when you're the big, you know, whatever uh, yeah. attorney, y'all yeah. can say you were, you were here, yeah. right? Oh, please. I got that all the time. All right. So I didn't dice it really small. I probably should, but let me get it better. Yeah, however you like it. You you know what this stuff is supposed to look like, so you get it decorated yeah, up. Yeah, um, that's for four. Okay, that's fine. Four eggs? Okay. So I'll show you guys what we have. It's still warm. I'll show you guys what AV is doing stirring the fried apples <sighs> stirring it up okay so interesting garnish but this is bacalao so av is cutting up the eggs and putting it on top so this is good for people who like protein though you know it's a protein yeah. rich dish and we also got the black olives oh here. black olives are coming oh my gosh ebony and ivory Ebony and ivory go together like perfect harmony. You know, nothing wrong with that. I need to get a tan this summer. That's okay. We love uh -huh. everybody. I'm not a colorist. Oh, Maggie's <laughs> getting hot. She's getting warm now. I'm a, I'm no, I love all the Africans. The Africans. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Me all right. too, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> But no, y'all, I mean, you know good people when you find them and you yeah. meet them. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just really happy. Me too. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yay. Okay. One more egg. One more egg is coming. <laughs> Let me show you guys the apples so far. 
they're just kind of sitting in this butter bath and I'm gonna let them sit while we try our bacalao. Oh, don't worry about the floor, we'll clean it. I know, I'm sorry, it's a habit. I know, good habit though. Yeah. Y'all can see button. here, our apples are just simmering in the butter bath, okay? So that's going on while we garnish the bacalao. Garnish the bacalao. Almost done. Yeah, no, no problem at all. I probably should have cut this on a plate. That looks good. <laughs> it's fine? Yep. Okay, okay, I don't have like really good nice skills, so this is what we got. Yeah, I'm trying to stay focused with these eggs and not let them break apart. But... It's fine. So yeah, I just I diced up the parsley. It's going to be a garnish. Parsley doesn't really give me... Um... Okay, you know what? This one right here, Snuggles, I'm going to go ahead and drop you down. I'm going to let y'all know. <laughs> Snuggles has said... Do me a favor, please. Leave the singing to the professionals and keep your day job. And on that note, Snuggles, thank you so much for coming back. We're going to go ahead and keep this going. Whew. Yeah, the apples look good, don't they? <laughs> Shout out to the Africans. <laughs> Raise the roof for the Africans. Gotta do it. Okay, so we've got our bacala with our eggs. A.B. got our eggs sliced up nicely. So y'all remember, this is what's going on underneath there. Sliced up eggs. <laughs> no, no. Sliced, sliced up feet, right? Okay. okay Do you have to cut these two or? I mean, you don't have to. I think for this, like we'll just slice up these ones. So yeah. They can really, really see what the presentation looks like. Absolutely. But I don't think so we've got know. olives and A.B. is going to cut these up. I guess. Well, if I don't knock like about grapes. Yeah, so we've got some olives here. I'm going to let you do the garnish because you know what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, Friendsgiving is liking the apples so far. Let me see what else we got over here. I'm going to come on this side. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Yes. Oh, you want to see what A.B. is doing? Y'all need a field trip. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to, let me bring y'all. Oh, y'all, it's a whole thing. We call it field trip when I bring stuff down. I'm going to bring you guys down so you can see. Thank you for asking. I turned off my, y'all. I'm trying to get my over camera thing together. Y'all bear with me and thank you. Here we come. So. Oh my God, y'all. Oh, sorry, y'all. So I'm slicing up these. Let me see if I can turn the light back on. Into smaller pieces so that they look like these little rings, right? So I'm slicing those up. Yeah, I'm gonna put them in there. And this is really like the last step. We're at the finale. Yes, the grand finale. The grand finale, guys. Oh my gosh, those apples smell so good. They really do. All right, let me see. That is whoever invented these. Genius. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let me see if y'all can see. Okay. So these are now done. Okay. I'm gonna take them and just kind of. My hands are clean. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Just kind of put them around so that they are spread out throughout the month. Little field trips so y'all can see what's happening down here. Yep. And then we're going to hit it with a little bit of... Yeah, you do the parsley. I kind of cut it all over the napkin. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, I like the colors. This is coming right. together. Go, A.B. Go, A.B. I'm raising the roof. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And that looks really, really good. I don't think I cut this one up well, but you're okay it's with... Okay. This okay. It's fine. I think it looks really good too. And then, since we are done, we just need to hit it with the, the brown pepper. I'll put the black pepper back. We're going to put some more black pepper on it and we're done. Oh, let me plug up for y'all. Okay. Guys, we have buckalao. We have buckalao? We have buckalao. Buckalao. Okay, I want to make sure I see it nice. Okay. okay Is it too hot or you, you got it? Okay. I'm going to uh, hold it up so they can see them. Before I cut into it, I always take pictures for the community tab. And since Lee attorney is back, I'm going to let you try one, A.V., for, for tenderness. Okay. And the fried apples are in the back food. here, guys. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys the fried apples. I want you to taste This is the cutest spatula <laughs> ever. This is so cute. 
So I'm teaching AV how to make lead attorney's fried apples. If y'all can see here, they've been simmering in the butter and brown sugar. Please say welcome to America. Oh my God. Okay, try. Well, I'm gonna let you try one of these and let's see okay. what you think just for tenderness and flavor, but just be careful because they would be hot. If it's still firm, we can keep them going longer. But butter and brown sugar is... Oh, my God, it's hot. Yes, it's going to be really hot. Oh, oh it was good. It just... Okay, um, one moment, please. She's jumping. Oh, poor thing. Oh, my God. That was so hot. Okay, that's so... That was really good. Okay, but how is the... Let me, let me try. Really good. Are you okay? Woo! Oh, my God. Hot. Okay. No, but it was, it was awesome. That was really good. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to take one out. So you guys can see for this, we cut up the fried apples. But you see when I put the fork into it, like it's really nice and soft. So I'm just going to taste and let it stay out for a little yeah, bit to kind of cool. <laughs> please do. I just, uh, ah, whew. yeah. <laughs> see what I mean? That almost killed me just now. Mmm, okay. Bomb. Good? Yeah, really good. So we're going to unplug this. All right, I'm going to show... We've got our meal. Yes, we've got our meal. I'm going to let that sit. I'll show you how to serve that dessert. But let me show you guys the finished product. And I'm going to take some pictures, and then we're going to serve it and sit down and eat with you guys. I'm going to leave that here. Okay. Let me just take some pictures really quick. So my pictures always go on the uh, community tab. Let me yeah. bring you guys down. Okay. So, ooh, it's going to be so pretty. Yeah, that looks really good. So you just get up on your food. It's just me and my uh, cell phone. I'm not a professional. I take some with the flash and some without. So I just want to see, like, all the different ingredients. Turn it around. Get in there. Yeah, it's very, the food is modeling right now. Absolutely. Do a little bit of food styling if you need to. Okay. America's nice soft model. <laughs> all right. So how do you serve this? Do you just scoop it out like a... Yeah. Okay. Like a big spoon. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. Even a spatula like that would be perfect. So what do you eat this with? Is it like an all-in-one dish or... Yep. All-in-one. Okay. So if you want to do like... like uh, some people like to have salad on the side. Ah. Uh, you know? Sometimes they call that bacala salada. Ah, right. okay. Um, but I think for the purposes of this, we can just do it all in one. All right, I'm going to leave y'all down here because I'm going to serve it. Then we're going to pull up and you guys can actually see. So what is a portion? Is this like half or... So, kind of like a, a square, almost like a lasagna, like you were saying earlier. Okay. Maybe even smaller than that. Like, okay. Know, don't go crazy. <laughs> you okay. Know, it's probably not going to have too much. Is it okay if it kind of falls yes, apart? Of it's course. supposed to be like that? It's supposed okay. to be like that. It's not, not like a, like a lasagna. because oh, yeah, there's no, no cheese no. in there? Okay. Right. I, I know we're saying, we're comparing it to a casserole, but yeah. it's really supposed to be a loose. Okay. And these are thing. fish turners. So when I show you guys how to pan fry fish, so I'm just going to try and get like yeah. a big old... You want some help? Uh, okay. Yeah. That looks yummy. All right, I'm going to let A.V. do the taste test. I'm going to put one little egg on top. Okay. I'm going to wash this. Oh, I'll get you a clean okay, fork. Okay. So we've got, there's the plate. And I'm going to move this up and over. Okay. And then I'll let you taste it while I serve myself. And then we're going to sit down. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let me get you a, a clean fork. It's, it's time to taste it, guys. Yes, you know they love the taste test. Oh, Lucasley made a really good point. Okay. With arroz. Sometimes you do this with rice on the side, right? Rice and potato? Woo! Yeah, and spilling. Oh my God, that's all you need. All right, so here's a fork. Thank you. All right, so let's let A.B. taste her bacalao. Okay. Okay, let's do this with salmon. This is the first. Oh, that's right. You usually have it with uh, salt fish. Right. Wow. The salmon is so good. It's good? Mm-hmm. I might just eat it all right now. Yeah. Oh, we're we're going to sit down and eat and, ch and chow and chat, and then we'll make lead attorney's uh, fried apples. They've, they're actually made. You know what? Well, we'll do it after, because I was like, I could go ahead and make the whole thing now, but um, I make it with whipped cream, and then it'll kind of be runny, but... Did you say you put whipped cream on top yeah. of it? Yeah. So I'll, I'll show you guys. All right. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. Hey, Moose. Thank 
thank you for being here. All right, so AV has made bacalao. I'm gonna taste it for the first time. She's chowing down, so it must be good. So we made our Cape, Ver is it Cape Verdean, or how do you say it? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it's a universal Latin dish, so. Oh, this is a Latin dish. Yeah, Poppy Baco was saying this earlier in some of the other um, Spanish-speaking countries. And I'm from a Lusophone country, which means that we speak Portuguese. All right, so I'm gonna let you sit down, and then I'm gonna we're gonna enjoy our food. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me bring y'all in. Sorry, y'all. Here I come. Okay. We're moving. Now it's the side. Oh, I oh, see. Sorry, y'all. Struggle streaming. Is that struggle streaming? Okay. I don't know if that's. Uh, Khalees says it looks good. It looks good. Okay. Well, y'all, here we go. No, no, Poppy Blanco. AB does know how to cook. You, no, she no, was no. dicing up onions. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I uh, cook every day, my friend. Hey, 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 yeah. hey Poppy, you gonna no, get no, it no. like Snuggles got it? Cause <laughs> we need to time you out. All right, so we're gonna try a little bit of salmon, a little bit of egg, onion, potato, olive, everything on there. This is bomb. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Like with salmon. Mm. Okay. With salmon, it's. I think it's actually a little wow. bit better with salmon, right? Wow. Yeah. It's different. Okay. So it's very hearty. This could be like um, a one meal wonder. Yep. I was very suspicious about the ingredients, but you have the creaminess of the potato. The salmon is a nice, I'm imagining this with a salted cod, which is a very strong, like um, salty, like almost fishy fish. So I could see why you would add this with potato. Mr. Option One, matching, matching super chats. Thank you so, so much. Um, the softness of the caramelized onion, the seasonings. And then the creaminess of the egg. I didn't. I didn't know how I would like that, but the creaminess of the egg, and then the the olive has got a little bit of that salty bite. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh! You're gonna make it, Khalees? Has anybody ever made this, or has anybody ever had this? I know Poppy and Luke Aisley have. Um, Put a yes in the chat if you would eat this. Put a no in the chat if this is not your uh, style. Yeah, a, uh, Luke Casey says salad would be, uh, be a good pairing. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Moose, we just saw it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, ooh, it's really like, it's really good. I'm just gonna add a little bit more Salt and pepper to mine. I wonder what's happening. Oh, oh, is anybody else having issues with Super Chat? Somebody else said it earlier. Oh, no! Erin says she would try it without the olives. But we yeah. got a lot of yeses here. You got, you got um, yes? Del says she's making it for the 4th of July. Oh, nice! It's not letting me do more. I keep saying you already own this tea place item. Wow. Oh, I need to plug it. Oh, yeah, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. I said I was going to do it, and then I got distracted. Here we come. This is why you need a sous chef. I'm telling you, y'all, this is awesome. This is awesome. It's usually just me, but I got I got my girl A.V. in here cooking it up, eating it up. Mom says it looks good. Nana says it'll go great with light gravy. Yeah, so that is the one thing I will say. Most casseroles have like some type of binder, whether it's like cheese or a raw egg that kind of keeps everything together. So you guys see how it's very, not the opposite of homogenous. It's very, um, there's a word I'm thinking for. Like each ingredient is identifiable. It's not- Who did that to me? <laughs> you have a custom troll. Hi, troll. How are you? It's nice to meet you. What is the picture? I'm so the nervous. Of me, I think. <laughs> yeah, it looks like my forehead. Oh my god. It looks like me eating. That's nice. Oh 
my gosh. Somebody made a custom troll. Hey, you know what? Break me in. I need to learn how to do this stuff. <laughs> you got a thousand subscribers now. <laughs> that is horrible. No, but seriously, I did burn my tongue. It sucked. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, y'all, the, the candy, um, the candy, the, um, TLA's fried apples, anytime butter and brown sugar, anytime you're making a caramel. <laughs> you know what? I wonder if that's who it is. You know what? I don't know anymore. I'm just I'm just here for the snacks. Yeah. Mmm. I literally burnt my tongue, guys. That, that hurt. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's not your fault. It was a fried apples. It was a fried apples. <laughs> fried apples did it. Anytime you're making a caramel, which is butter and sugar, it does get very, very hot. So take it out. I'm just, I've turned it off. I'll let you guys see what hurt my girl AB, but they will stay warm for a while. We've got our apples in here. You can see they're swimming in that brown sugar goodness. And I'm going to give you guys several options for how to top them as a dessert. Who knows? Aw, Moose said he sent the PayPal. Aw, thank you. I'm not a turmoil. Thank you, Moose, for supporting. And y'all, I did, oh my God, I can't with these people. You can also Cash App or Venmo AV. That goes oh. right away and she gets the full amount. Um, y'all know with, um, well, in case you don't know, because I'm just learning, YouTube pays once per month, which is great. You know, we could get nothing, but um, you, can, you guys can definitely support her before she's monetized. Oh my God, the truth. I don't know, y'all. I don't even know anymore. I just thank you, Mr. Option One. Thank you for riding with me. I don't know. My trolls are just now. AV has good. So now you have to live stream because your burnt tongue is gonna be feeling left out. <laughs> Welcome to sketch comedy. <laughs> hmm. Class dance around channel. Okay. So this is the chat and chow portion. What questions do you all have now that we're less distracted? If you posted something earlier and we missed it, now we can try and answer. Oh, thank you, Friendsgiving. That's really nice. Friendsgiving sent a super chat saying, making sure this thing still works. Okay. Thank you for the super chat. And you love the one pot wonder. Great collab, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Are you done? <laughs> I started before you. you're like taste this and I'm like <laughs> eating <laughs> okay because when you're ready for the apple yeah take your time when you're yeah. ready for the apples or yeah. however you're feeling we'll um Mr. Option one the ingredients are for my members but I will say this y'all we've been doing it in here this is a food network recipe and it's called Salt Cod, Onions and Potatoes. Can you read the rest of it? Bacalao a Gomes de Sa. And what does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? Gomez or Gomes is like a last name. So I wonder if it's the person. The Gomes de Sa looks like de Sa. fish of the sea. Yeah. I don't know. Who, who, could, who can understand that? But yeah, I dropped the link as a um, members only post but that's the recipe that we use plus we have the real half i was gonna say half african the real african here to let us know uh to keep it authentic mm -hmm. <laughs> i am ignoring it okay i am we're just gonna ignore it it hurts but i'm still eating because i'm hungry no look at moose moose said my girls just walked up looked at the stream and said in unison. They are so pretty. Ah! <laughs> Thank Moose, you. Your, your girls are adorable. Moose, if you don't mind, will you tell us their first name so we can say hey and shout them out only if you want to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Poppy, we answered this one. Yes, Poppy. Dude, 
I can do this, right? Like I could do this. I'm in the kitchen all the time now, like every day, right? So we could keep talking about it, you and me. <laughs> but it's a thing. It's a thing. I can definitely cook. So we had a question about AB's vacation. Y'all, I have been asking for this collab and I am Months. so glad. Yes, for a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad AB made it over and I hope you are enjoying your vacation. Yeah, I am. I needed this. And the reason why is because um, I'm going back to school in a few weeks, right? So I wanted to really take some time to see my friends and family mm -hmm. and really spend time with the people that matter. Right? Yay. So Moose's baby girl. Really Faith. Hi, and Lily Ella Faith. Grace. Oh, those names are so pretty. Beautiful names. Thank you, Lily Faith and Ella Grace for watching. We appreciate it. Love if you, you guys. Yes, we love you. <laughs> I can't even do it. Mine looks like a, oh, there we go. Aww. If you guys think we look pretty now after we have been burnt, we have been <laughs> steamed, we have been <laughs> we have trolled. We have, we have been trolled. But we appreciate you. And some of my best memories are, you know, home cooked meals. Yeah. And it just goes to show, you know, I always say that this is a family channel, but it really means a lot to me. We have everybody from my mom, who's a grandma, to Lily Faith and Ella Grace here. So I am so happy that you guys watch and let me know if there's anything that you girls like to eat. And uh, maybe I'll do a live stream with or some cupcakes. Ooh, yeah. Cupcakes. Cupcakes would be nice. What was your favorite meal as a kid? I really liked lamb chops. Lamb? As a kid? Yeah, I loved lamb chops. My grandmother used to... Listen, I spent a lot of time with my grandma in Aww. the kitchen, right? And you, she was actually from Cape Verde and came here in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And it was a requirement. If you were a girl in the family, you're going to learn how to cook. You're going to learn today, right? That was a thing, right? So... I love it. Somebody who understands. Y'all know you've heard me say it when my mom was oh, in the kitchen. Oh, fleshy. <laughs> they are the best. When my mom would go to cook and, you know, um, my dad would say, Maggie, in the kitchen. I was young. I mean, like, my mom used to tell me, Maggie, if you do not cook for your children, who will cook for them? I'm like, I don't know. I'm 10. But when you have that type of upbringing, you know, you may fight it in the beginning, but you end up appreciating it. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Oh, who says lamb is so good. I'm thinking like when I asked AB what was her favorite kids meal, I was thinking like chicken, chicken nuggets, nuggets or something fries? like that. No. Mm. She would, um, she, cause you know, Cape Verdeans have an accent. So she'd be like, what is the Cape Verde accent? Luke Hazley knows how it should be. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. She would say things like, you know, we'd be in the car <coughs> picking, she'll be picking us up from school. Um, she would take us home. Like we would go by like Burger King and Wendy's and all these places. Mm -hmm. And she'd be like, we are not going to Burger King. We are not going to Mickey Donald's. You're going to eat arroz, cool, all these other things at home. Mm -hmm. Arroz, cool, galinha, and I'm going to show you how to, you're going to make your dinner. How about that? You're going to make your dinner. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm like seven, eight, eight years old. Like really? But um, I would say around like 12, 13, that's when it was like serious. Like, okay, let's start with the basics. Here's how you make rice. Here's how you make sides, right? And then uh, our favorite thing was her making desserts because mm. we got a chance to lick the spoon <laughs> when she was done stirring, right? So, uh oh, was was I'm going numb, guys? It's getting dark. <laughs> Poppy uh, wants me, wants us to teach the women how to fry chicken and make mac and cheese. Ooh, my mac and cheese is lit. Oh, my yeah. mac and cheese is lit. I Poppy. didn't know that. It's lit. Oh my God. It's so epic in my family. When we have like family gatherings, people are like, did you bring mac and cheese? Where oh my goodness. It needs to be here. AV can make soul food. The yes, African can. can make soul yes, food. I can. Oh my gosh, yeah, <laughs> making rice. I know a lot of people. I know. So, AB, next time you come, because I hope you will definitely come yeah. back. There should be a poll up there. Let me know if you guys want AB to come back. I would love to come back. So, is it like a secret family recipe, or can you share like what makes your uh, mac and cheese so epic? Mm. Oh, you want to know why it's epic? Because the person that taught me how to make it's from the south. Hmm. <laughs> Gail She's at night, we got Florida. McDonald's at home. Mickey Donald's! <laughs> Let me tell you guys, so my mom is here. <clears throat> when we wanted McDonald's as a kid. <laughs> McDonald's at home. You better, you better cut up them potatoes, that patata. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she would say. Oh my goodness. So Mr. Option 1 says, my grandmother used to make us homemade chocolate wow. bars, cakes, cookies, and pies. Absolutely. Mm. Mr. Mustachio says... 
A good mac and cheese is the thing of beauty. It breaks my heart every time you go so and they, oh no, not the bot stuff. Oh, I don't eat oh. that kind of food often, Ooh, craft, but mac and I cheese. can make it like a proper mac and cheese. I catered for a, a friend whose um, dad was doing like a 70th birthday and they wanted like soul food. They were like, don't substitute anything. I think Lita Turney said that once, a full flavor. I fried chicken. I made mac and cheese. I did a ribeye steak. I mean, all of that. It's good to know how. Yeah. But when we were little and we would want McDonald's, which, you know, when you grow up, you know, humble beginnings or poor or whatever, it's like a real treat. You know, today's kids, they get drive through every day. We didn't grow up like that. My mom being the nutrition lady that she is, we could not eat it in the car. We couldn't touch it. We'd have to come home. She would open the hamburger. She would cut up vegetables like lettuce and tomato. She would stuff it inside the hamburger and wrap it back up. <laughs> excuse me and give wow. it to us and my brother and i were like you ruined it <laughs> I know. she's right. like you have to eat your vegetables <laughs> sorry y'all yep. mm. luke casely said something about eddie murphy <laughs> i know what you're talking about <laughs> eddie murphy had a stand-up oh about one oh mcdonald's with the wonder bread Khalees yeah. wants your mac and cheese. She wants a mac and cheese class. Oh my God, I'd love to do that. Oh we yeah. We totally do it. We totally do it. I love having someone here who actually likes to cook because I now I can be the student. I can. Ah. Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, you're, you're here running the spaceship. There's a lot of controls. Maggie's got this new contraption over here that does all this. It's a light. It's holding the iPad. There's, there's all these things. It's a lot, y'all. Yeah. I was trying to get the overhead camera. We're going to get it. I was just getting that feedback. So it was like, yeah. I would say hello. And it was like, hello, hello, hello. Yeah. So I didn't want to put you guys through that. But I have. She's new, got a new contraption. We're going to get We're going to get there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh. Oh, God. No, Papi Blanco, I'm not Puerto Rican. I have many Puerto Rican friends, though. Uh, I'm from Cape Verde. Okay? Mm. That's where I'm from. I think we were Were you born in the States? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was born here. I was born here in the Northeast. But mom and dad are both Cape Verde? Yep. Okay, yep. so you're full Cape Verdean. That is it. That and is can it. you tell us why or where the populations of Cape Verde people yeah, are? Yeah, you know, a lot of people, like I'll say, like what? where my, what my ethnic background is. And a lot of people are like, what the hell's that? <laughs> You're Cambodian? I'm like, no, 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 I'm Cape Verdean, right? Um, Cape Verde, again, is um, on the west coast of Africa. And the migration path, ironically, is no, in the northeast. Is mm -hmm. It's like in the Boston, Providence, um, Rhode Island area. Uh, so in Massachusetts, you'll find some people in like a little bit of New Hampshire, Vermont, uh, kind of concentrated in the northeast. The other big population is in Florida, right? So like Fort Lauderdale, Kissimmee, um, and then there's also a population in California. Uh, you know, a lot. It's it's a very small um, community. I would say that there's probably like two million Cape Verdeans that live in the U.S. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So. So we have a question from Mr. Fry. It says, "What are we going to make next?" Now, Mr. Fry, <clears throat> welcome. Not sure if you're new. I usually stream every day and I usually stream what I'm eating because I'm trying to get the rest of this weight off. And so you guys help keep me accountable so that I can age gracefully. But um, I don't know, Mr. Fries, if you're asking about what we're going to make next. Um, tonight, we're going to make Lita Turney's fried apples. I'm going to show you guys three options. So we've got the apples done. You could eat the apples just as they are like as a side dish or a plain dessert. And again, it's just real fruit, butter, brown sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg. For me, I'm using my substitute ingredients. Oh, I should have asked you. I know you burnt your tongue, but with this was made with goat butter and brown sugar substitute, but how was the flavor? If I It was great. I didn't even notice that it was substitute. Yeah. So if I told you, you know, like if I didn't take, because I usually- I wouldn't have noticed. Thank you. I usually eat sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free, but you could absolutely make this with full flavor. So I'm almost done. When I finish mine, then I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to top it in a way that I think it's going to be great, and I'll make it for you. So you can, one, eat the apples plain. Two, you could top them with a variety of things. What I'm going to do is I've got whipped cream, and i got some whipped cream Woo! substitutes. 
I use like coconut cream or almond cream. If oh you can God. have dairy. She's feeding me. I oh yeah. I, I love feeding people. <laughs> I tell you guys, I would cook for, I love you all. I would feed, feed anybody. That's what mom, you know, how mom raised me. Whipped cream. Um, and then I get like my gluten-free graham crackers. I know. I crumble them up and I sprinkle them all over top, like making a sundae. So if you like, uh, cause the way lead attorney said he likes it like an apple pie, you could take that filling, put it in a store-bought pie crust and then just bake it, you know, easy apple pie. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. So almost done. And I'm going to show you guys the dessert and then we'll be. Yeah. I'm like already full. Oh, you're full. <laughs> what? I don't know. Margarine and grape jelly. Okay, so Luke Hazley is giving us some history lessons. Cape Verde, officially the Re Republic of Cabo Verde, is an archipelago um, and island country in the Central Atlantic Ocean, consisting of 10 volcano volcanic islands with a combined land area of about uh, 4,000 square kilometers. Thank you. Thank you, Luke Hazley. Uh-oh, here comes the tongue. <laughs> I can't wait to tell my 1K subscribers how I was born. <laughs> On the mean street of La Cocaina de Conchina de Maggie. <laughs> it's so wrong. You see how they do me? That is so wrong. Uh, no, it's okay. Come, come, come to the channel. Come to the, the one case of Welcome to my struggle kitchen where all the custom drolls are born. Apparently, y'all are here to let me know what we do wrong. Thank you for being here. Yeah, welcome. Mm. Moose has a question. Um, Almost done, guys, and I'll make our dessert. Uh, is Cape Verde one of the African countries that speak Spanish or some other language? I know there is one, I think. Papua New Guinea. Mm. Um, yes. So, Moose, you're right. It's guinea Passau. There's actually two. There's another country called Angola. Mm. Angola. Angola, yeah. yeah. Uh, those are the two African countries that speak Portuguese along with. Um, and, you know, Cabo Verde is its own independent nation now, but it used to be a part of Africa. Thank you, Luke Casey. La cucina, cucina. We say cuisine. Oh. La cucina de Maggie. Italian say cucina, and the Spanish say what? Co cocina. Yeah, cocina. We say cuisine. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a little bit of. <laughs> Y'all are laughing. <laughs> Y'all are laughing at that. Mm-hmm. Cucina de Maggie, where burnt tongues are born. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Where <laughs> burnt tongues are born. Oh my God. Almost done, y'all. This is really good. It's actually. I'm not gonna lie to you. When I look at this, she I was, was like, what the heck? Y'all know we eat with our eyes first, but honestly, mm -hmm. in person, okay. it's beautiful. Okay. And uh, the flavors are really cocina. good to eat. Cocina. 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 Oh, is that how they say it in Spanish? Yes. Cherry baby, yeah. cocina? cocina? We should ask lead attorney. Yeah, he okay. knows. Most likely. Okay. Uh, what is Miss Lewis saying? <clears throat> I know Spanish a bit. Don't know anything about that Portuguese. <laughs> Cochina. Look at, look at him. Look, look at him. Look at Look at Moose. Moose. <laughs> and whoever said, I don't like olives, I do not like olives either. Oh However, no. In this dish, it is so good because, well, maybe it's the way the AV sliced them. But that saltiness that you get from the olive, it pairs really well with, you know, potatoes can be kind of bland unless you season them well. The potatoes, like they're like creamy and then the fish is a little mild. It really is good. I would make it, I would make it like this again, but I would slice the olives that I just dropped. I would slice the olives so you just get a little bit of that uh, olive flavor. Last bite. What happened now? I don't know. Yeah, Kim, Kim G, I, the way I said it was probably really bad. Wilbert wants more merch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done with y'all. All done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Erin. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this right here so we don't have to get up. Y'all are laughing at me. Go ahead. I don't care. I don't care. Y'all keep coming back. Y'all keep tuning in. Say what you want to. Okay, so now our fried apples <clears throat> have caramelized up nicely, still a little bit warm, perfect tenderness. So let me show you guys a couple ways to make this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it my way and uh, we'll see what AV says now that it's cooled down. So you can manage my lovely chat and let me get okay. my ingredients. 
What y'all doing? What are y'all what are y'all talking about? Okay. Let's see. The way oh the way Moose pronounced it in Spanish means something not good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh here. Cucina is Italian with a with a CH now. I'm probably still saying that wrong, guys. So sorry. That is so funny. Yeah, it looks like Moose is um learning how to speak other languages there. All right, it's Moose. always good to be well-rounded, guys. Yes. Oh, here we go. You're back. What do you want? <laughs> oh, please, no. I don't want to try any more apples. Help me, Amber Attorney. <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh, we're shouting out Amber Attorney, so there's an affiliation there. Oh my gosh. Mm. All my do trolls they know, know each other. other. Mm -hmm, they do. Dexley, I know. Haha, <laughs> Erler. Yeah, Dexley is my office chair. I do have the office chairs, but I have company, y'all. So I wanted to bring out the good ones. Okay. Just a couple things. If my moderators could make sure that these are on the cheat sheet. So if you can eat gluten have regular graham crackers and crumble them up. My substitute, since I don't eat gluten, Mary's Gone, it's usually Mary's Gone crackers, but she has a line called Mary's Gone cookies. So they have three flavors, honey, cinnamon, and chocolate. And you see how this is graham style snacks? So if one of my moderators could make sure that these are on my cheat sheet. So this is what I'm gonna use as my graham cracker substitute. And then if you can have real dairy, just use regular whipped cream, but there are some substitutes. Right, since I avoid dairy, Ready Whip, the same brand that makes regular whipped cream. You guys see they have some made from coconut milk and from almond milk. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can you have options. I love you, almond milk. You That's like almond milk? I was gonna ask you which one you wanted. Almond. So we're gonna do this for A B with almond cream and gluten free crackers, and I'll show you guys how to put it together. But carry on. That is so funny. <coughs> um who says, is that a dialect thing? Yeah, it probably is. Pronouncing the same word differently because that's how I was taught by a very Mexican abuela who spoke like seven words of English. Could be. It could be. I think a lot of these languages are rooted in Latin, right? Oh, yeah. Like you can you can see like the roots of words um, just pronounced differently over a, a large span of land oh. and over time, right? So I'm just showing you guys. These are the cookies that I'm going to take just a few of them. She's got the roller. I've got a little Ziploc bag. I put a few cookies in here and I'm going to crush them with the rolling pin. Yay. Sherry, you know, I agree. Dropping hints. Dropping hints. Yeah, the trolls know each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, and Lucas is saying the same thing. Like some, you know, one word is pronounced very similar in various languages. She's absolutely right. So if you ever need to make your own breadcrumbs, you guys have seen me take like crackers or whatever, but I have these gluten-free honey crackers and I'm just going to whack them on the counter. Whack them. Whack them all. Uh, Moose is saying all the language, romance languages are very similar. Oh, we got somebody in the back. Oh, who's this? Gail and Knight. Oh, it's Gailly. Oh my God. Oh, oh, what did I do? Hold up. There you are. Hey, Hi, Gail. Gail. How you doing? Hey, I'm in these streets, y'all, in the real Hi. streets. <laughs> He's raising the roof for Let you. Let me bring this up. Listen. Yes, ma'am. I okay. can't get my plates because everything cooled off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Don't be like me. Oh my, gosh. oh, my gosh. Burn time, right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes, Gail. I will cook for you anytime. All right. Okay, so ma'am. I'm going to hold you to it, Maggie. Do what? I'm going to hold you to it. Absolutely, absolutely. Look, Amy's here about to get her dessert. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Yep, she's over right. there fixing that up real nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys. So I have just a little glass bowl here. So this is one little portion size. So I'm getting the fried apples that are in this little whatever. So you can make it like um, like a little sundae if you wanted to. We'll do some layers. We'll do some fried apples. Ooh. At the bottom. Doesn't it look good? Oh, wait a minute. So we've got just some fried apples. Then we're going to do AB asked for almond cream. So <laughs> get this uh, ready whip made from almond milk. So agree, gluten free, dairy free, and we'll let her do the taste test. So, yes, Gail, absolutely. I don't know what your favorite foods are. 
So you'll have to whatever you whatever you cook. Ah, <laughs> it's so what the kids say. It's better when you make it. You can mm -hmm. get the frame since I'm the. Yeah. Making this over here. Gail, how was your weekend? Oh, and congratulations. Right. Today. Thank you. Yes, it's been good. What's today? I don't know the day of the week. What what is today? Today's Tuesday? Yes, today's Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah. yeah. It was what did I do? You had a live stream. I know. <laughs> I had a live stream. I had a lit live stream Friday. I couldn't yeah. even keep up. Yes, if one of my moderators could please drop Miss Gail's uh channel in the chat. All right, so let me. Oh, this looks so good. She's yes. about to put like the almond milk. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you guys. Oh, man. All right, so in here. I'm eating good tonight. Oh, you know? absolutely. <laughs> All right, uh, guys. Hey. And this was a whole apple that we just peeled and cut up. So you can make it as small or as big chunks as you want. <laughs> oh, God. So we have our dairy free whipped cream. And then she's gonna sprinkle graham crackers. Lord have mercy. <laughs> you guys want to say grace now? Because that, that's it's gonna be in my belly. <laughs> so this was graham crackers that I just crushed up on the counter. If you can mm -hmm. have regular graham crackers, wow. that's fine. I'm using gluten free. So you can make this as little or as big as you want. So I'm going to give this to A.B. with a spoon, and I'm going to let you try. If you would hold this, let me get you a spoon, and then I want you to let everybody know. I like these little bowls. Yeah, I yeah. need a little Pampered Chef measuring cup. Here you go, my Thank dear. You. Oh my God. I hope lead attorney is watching because he makes fun of my gluten free. Yeah, free. Um, yeah, we say gluten free, dairy free, sugar free. He's like, that's. Mm -mm, I want all my calories and cholesterol. Exactly. <laughs> That's what Lee wants. Lee, do it. But look, he couldn't tell the difference if you would put it in there and give it to him. He wouldn't know. If I told you that was look at AB. Oh my gosh, I can taste it. I can almost taste it. If I said that was gluten free, sugar free, and dairy free. I wouldn't be able to tell. Nobody would probably know. Right. Exactly. Y'all, I'm telling you, you can enjoy, and that's really what my channel, if you will, is about what I'm really passionate about because we eat every day. And whether you have like weight that you need to get off, like me, or you have health, Ooh, like me, a lot of people struggle. And you know, I've shared with you all the weight problem started to turn into a health problem over 40. And so I wanted to get in front of all that. So I wasn't on medication and all this stuff. Now I support whatever anybody needs to do. I am not a doctor. So please do what's best for you. But changing my diet reversed a lot of that stuff. And I'm just here to show that you can have really good food that is brown sugar substitute, zero calorie, a real apple that we peeled. So it's whole fruit, goat's mm -hmm. butter. So it's dairy free. If a lot of people are um, sensitive to cow uh, dairy, and um, no, it's fine. I'm I don't want to be like all on you, no, but okay. <laughs> okay. Get in here. Okay. Get in here, Maggie. So yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And then dairy free whipped cream. Y'all would eat that. Yes. What am I cooking for you, Gail? <laughs> you got whatever you feel like that day. I'm coming. What is with your, my own? Oh, with your plate. Oh, let me see. I, I missed the the chat. I don't know if we're seeing anything. I'm always missing it. So, Gail, Miss Gail, what is your mm -hmm. um, favorite meal to eat? <laughs> you see what they said about you, Av? Do you see how big I am? Like there is no fate. Like whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Luke Casey says it looks good. Yo, I'm telling you, look at look at Av over here. Eating. Look at Av, and she it's the bottom of the glass already. It's, it's the done. bottom of the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Not the bottom of the bottle. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm yeah. telling you, <laughs> what I eat, this is when I want a dessert, I made this with one apple. I didn't even use all of the graham crackers. Like, and that's how you get kind of that, because I can't have apple pie, right? I can't have a proper apple mm -hmm. pie, but I can make this. You don't need apple pie. Exactly. And it gives, that's it. Attorney, it gives you the apple pie experience. So you can make that. If lead attorney were here, I would make that and then say... <laughs> How is it? And if he says it's good, then I would say it's gluten-free, sugar-free, and dairy-free. Right. Blah. Right. <laughs> but no, um, you could make that. Do you do you know how to make it now with just regular butter, regular brown sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> AB, stop talking. <laughs> Yo, we are, this is what I love. Like, we're all the same. Like, everybody likes good food. See? And yeah. that is just one apple. So I don't know. Um... <laughs> the bottom of the bowl. He's at the bottom of the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Amy is not worried about y'all. She's eating her. Didn't she say I'm so full? Didn't she say? She <laughs> said, I know, she said that. <laughs> she... <laughs> but you, you know, though, Maggie, Look at that Lucy. seems. Yes, ma'am. You know what, though? It seems that it probably would be light, though. It won't be a heavy dessert. Mm -hmm. Well, now that it's gone, Amy, um, I think I'm ready for a nap. You ready for a nap? I got the itis now. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is light, but it's very wow. satisfying. Satisfying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. Like, I have a sweet tooth. And so I have to come up with ways to get that, like, dessert experience in a way that I can have it. When I would eat, like, a regular apple pie or, like, a McDonald's, like, apple pie thing, which is not even real apple. You know, what I love about mm -hmm. it is that it's a whole fruit. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, these trolls. Um, no, no, honestly, the bird Even tongue. I could taste that. Okay. No, the bird tongue is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Mona says she sure did say I was full. I did. Yeah. Kids do that. It's like, oh, I don't want anything else. And you give them dessert and they just like, oh, yeah, eat mm -hmm. the. But um, when I would eat like, or when I eat like proper real apple pie, which we all love it, whatever it is, chocolate cake. Oh, I was going to make the lemon cake. Oh, man. There's so much that I make. Um, Did she just say she was going to make a lemon cake? Would you like the lemon cake too? Okay, I don't have space. I don't have space. I don't have space. She doesn't have space. Okay. It's like a one, it's like a little mug cake. It's like a little uh, portion. But see, this is like a, um, this is like a little storage container. So that's one little hack that I do. Like I make little servings for one. Perfect. I get the small bowl so that it's like, oh, it's like something nice for me. Mm -hmm. Um, but that real sugar, which is highly addictive and highly inflammatory, I have to lay down afterwards. Like I'm my mind slow. It like I can feel my body kind of processing. <laughs> Did A B about to live that? I was about to. I really was. Oh A. my god. Oh my gosh. What did move? We were gonna we were gonna clip that part too, A B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone needs to clip A B saying, Oh, I'm full. I don't have any room. And then, and then later on, the bottom of the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ling, ling, ling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. you know what, Maggie? Yes. I have to say, though, I have a weakness for pasta. Do you have a substitute for pasta? Like, Ooh. I love Alfredo. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Have I made a creamy white sauce? Um, For pasta substitutes... We made an excellent. Do you like lasagna? I love lasagna. I, got I haven't had lasagna or Alfredo in like months because I'm like, I keep trying to push it off for like a really, really special occasion because I know when I, it's, I love it. I have a substitute version for you. We actually did our first cook along. There's a squash lasagna recipe that I make that is amazing. The recipe comes from Tasty, which is one of these food channels. Y'all, I watch all of them. Bon I think I've heard of it. Yeah, I watch all of them. Mm -hmm. Food Network, Bon Appetit, and I look at the regular <laughs> stuff and then I come up with ways to make it in a way that is okay for me. We use yellow squash as the noodle. It sounds weird, but you mm -hmm. take so the, your little yellow squash you get a fork. I know it sounds weird, but you like get a fork and you hold one side, you get a vegetable peeler and you peel it long way. So you have like ribbons of yellow squash. Mm -hmm. You salt and pepper them and kind of toss them in a bowl and kind of set them to the side. You make all of the, the cheese mixture, which is usually ricotta, Parmesan, and like an egg. But for my dairy-free, I use goat's cheese, which is like a creamy, uh, soft, it's so good. And mm -hmm. manchego, which is a sheep's milk cheese. I know it sounds crazy, but it's that dry, salty age. That's my Parmesan substitute and goat's okay. cheese, my ricotta substitute. So you make your cheese mixture. And then your red sauce is pretty simple. You know, your ground beef, oregano, you know, like all the seasonings. And mm -hmm. um, you can use ground turkey, ground beef. 
And then I always use like a no sugar marinara because a lot of times pasta sauce has hidden sugar. And you just layer and it sounds weird, but you do your red sauce, you do your cheese, you do your squash noodle, red sauce, cheese. So think of a veggie lasagna with meat and then you sprinkle mm -hmm. or, you know, I use goat's cheese. I will make that for you. When you come over, Gail, I am making you a squash lasagna and you bake it in the casserole dish and it bubbles up ooey gooey and then you cut into that. It's gooey. <laughs> veggie, veggie, really good. Custard explosion again. Use a what? Use a ramekin when I'm making the uh, the lemon cake. But yeah, I do. I enjoy you know challenging myself to come up with you know stuff that would be really good. And look, AV is not on dairy free, sugar free, or gluten free. But she, when I tell y'all, y'all would eat this stuff. That's so good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> absolutely. Yes. <laughs> what did Moose say? Apple pie shine? What is pear shine? What is that? And a bonfire. Oh, is that like moonshine? Is apple it's pie? It's like moonshine, isn't it? Moose, I'm not. Pear shine, the pink shine, good, good shine, and the bonfire is how we get down out here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He comes. Let me go see my, Mr. Mustachio. I know Mr. <laughs> uh, somewhere in somebody's bunker, getting ready for for the the um, the you know the what do they call it? I don't know the apocalypse or whatever. But Moose says yes, you can mm -hmm. make pasta noodles out of gourds or vegetables. Have you ever had zoodles? Zucchini, zucchini mm -hmm. noodles. I've mm -hmm. never had it. So I have three options for you. So we've got the squash, which can be cut into ribbons for lasagna. You can buy zoodles already um, spiraled. Zoodled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> already that is a good, like, if you like a pasta noodle substitute, that's good. Mm -hmm. Another, that is very good. Have you ever had spaghetti squash? No. no. It is the weirdest thing. But like, like Moose says, it looks like a gourd, but you cut it in half and then you just oil, salt and pepper, and then put it like open side down and put in the oven or air fryer for me, you roast it. And when mm -hmm. the inside of the squash gets soft, it's the weirdest thing. You use a fork and just like, you just kind of run through like that and it shreds into little stringy pieces. That's why it's called spaghetti squash. Literally, you just go like this and you have like this pile of um, squash, but it's in a string form. So if you like that texture of um, spaghetti, that's really, really good. So spaghetti squash, zoodles from zucchini, or uh, yellow squash ribbons. So good. I made a ramen bowl with that. What? So good. Mm-hmm. Yummy, yummy. Okay. Talking about, yeah. I'll let you know, Maggie, when I, I'm back in Atlanta, I, I should be back. Gail, I would love to collab with you. You are welcome anytime. I'm an Airbnb hostess, so you have a place to stay when you're here. So... <laughs> Yes, I would love to take care of you. You've been so amazing to everybody in this space. You're a great moderator. And I want to say, oh, I, thank you. I have learned so much from you. I met Gail at um, Leeds Meetup. She planned Meetup. Wow. Yeah. If you guys uh, missed, I did a recap video, but you can see all the details. That's awesome. The thought that Gail put into that meetup from the name cards to everything. Y'all, I'm telling you, Gail, she is the crown jewel of this community we, yeah. I, i'm just trying but gail makes it look so you easy. can't get like you maggie huh, you don't have these <laughs> do you have custom trolls gail not yet <sighs> you're nice you're nice and fun though you know you keep those around <laughs> okay yeah oh moose likes yeah. to Squash too, yeah, absolutely. Let's say yes, right, yeah. Ooh, Kalise is making the fried apples right now in the brown Ooh, sugar swerve. swerve. Yes. Ooh. Swerve is um, I'll show you guys what she's using. I'm always trying to share with you guys. If my moderators can make sure this goes on the cheat sheet. Oh my goodness. And there's a cheat sheet. She's even got like cheat sheets of things you could buy for the yep. recipes. That is amazing. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Oh, sorry. She had so much fun when she cooks. That's what, you gotta oh, love yeah. it. Yeah, and, and you know we started what like three hours ago. Sorry, it's getting late. <laughs> I, I said I was gonna be done at two 
how, see how the live streams can just, you know, what it leads mm -hmm. to hold you hostage, but it's fun. Okay. Yeah. So I wanted to show you guys, I'm always here to, you know, educate my scholars. So another mm -hmm. sugar substitute, this one right here, it's called Swerve. And this is the brown sugar version. So I didn't have enough in here. That's why I use the Truvia. Oh. Mm -hmm. But okay. you guys can see there's a little bit left in there. But this is another one of my zero calorie brown sugar. So Swerve is an option. So moderators, please make sure this is on my cheat sheet. They also have the Swerve. This one, the confectioners. This is the powdered sugar substitute. So just because I say I'm sugar free does not mean I don't eat sweets. I eat sweet. I just don't um, eat sugar. So... All right, you look like you're getting the itis. You tired? I'm tired. <laughs> um, I'm tired too. I've been driving for a minute. I'm gonna get out of here, Maggie and AB. It's so good to see y'all together. Awesome live stream. All right, girl. Let me know when you're. I'm attacked. gonna try to um catch my daughter and surprise her. She doesn't know I'm I'm here. So. Aww. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'll see y'all later. Shout okay. out to the chat. Bye, Gail. Thank you. Bye. For Okay, everybody, I think we are done. I'm just going to swipe. Oh, that was good. I'm just going to swipe really quick and see if we miss any comments, but it is you late. Switch? No, I'm fine. You're good. Are, are, you, are you looking like, <laughs> all right. So everybody, thank you. Yeah. So we've got the cheat sheet so you guys can see there. Anytime I hold up products, sometimes y'all screenshot them. Sometimes you guys, you know, I'm trying to compile a list for you. So that's there. So Khalees was saying she used to hate the sugar substitutes until she met Swerve. Yeah. When you cook with it, you can't tell it all. Y'all saw AB's over here drifting. <laughs> she ate it up. Sometimes the sugar substitutes have that funky aftertaste. You would not know this is not brown sugar. It is literally calorie-free brown sugar. Okay. So Moose says they taste weird to him. All right. I understand. Oh, Moose. <laughs> Bank fraud. Please don't but don't get in any trouble. You guys have been super generous. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Derek says something about peach moonshine. I don't know anything about moonshine. Uh, all right. Moonshine. Yes, y'all please support Gail at night. She just got monetized. I'm done, y'all. This is I'm done. Yeah. What am I teaching? I don't know, y'all. I am um. Sometimes I get to these comments late, so I forget the context. I'm just looking. Yeah, eggplant is great. Oh, yeah, an eggplant parmesan. Let me know if y'all want me to make an eggplant parmesan. If you're a vegetarian, that's an excellent, um, good to acorn squash. Oh, I haven't had that. Spaghetti squash, zoodles, homemade pasta, zucchini, Alfredo. I haven't made an Alfredo. Okay. All right, everybody. Let's see. Oh, what did I do? Ooh. Okay, good night, Gail. Everybody have a good night. Yes, yeah, so congratulations, A.B., for hitting 1,000. Hey oh, my gosh. Oh, look at Luke Moose. This is why your bank is on you. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> A.B.'s getting hit with the itis. <laughs> yeah, y'all, I feed them good. I feed them good. Um, yes, oh, thank you, Kali. So, yes, yeah, so we are done. Um, I'm going to be cooking for y'all every day. So if anybody was new here, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Please make sure you support AB. She has her 1000 oh, subscribers. You, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to make sure that we get her monetized. We're going to get her to the 4,000 watch hours so you can have this fun experience. Oh my God. <laughs> you had fun. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, everybody. Well, I will see you guys tomorrow night for dinner. What am I making? I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out. But until then, <laughs> raise the roof on your way out. Yes, like the video, share, subscribe, and support AV. Thank you guys so All much. All right, everybody.